Dear God Almighty, within this life you give it. And it is you, O oh God Almighty, to lead us. It is you to guide us through. However, Lord God Almighty, your life was perfect. Holy Spirit of God Almighty, indeed your life was of that attraction where in that such invitation was made, dear God, to the point where, oh God Almighty, life was being deceived by the opposition on that day. And now we live it. Oh God Almighty, free not, oh God Almighty. We are life. Perfection was, dear God Almighty, but free. O oh God, to live through your Savior, Jesus Christ, the redeeming one who once was a child, O oh Lord Almighty, from the womb, like every one of us today, O oh Lord God Almighty, I pray the Holy Spirit, dear God Almighty. As we make this tournament for this week, oh God, in reaching out unto you, Holy Spirit of God Almighty, on the behalf of your children, parent children, Holy Spirit of God Almighty, first parent, oh God Almighty. The uncle who have parent, dear God, a grandparent who have parent, dear God Almighty, a cousin, and so often many of these children are Holy Spirit of God Almighty, but to you they are children. Holy Spirit, dear of God, I pray this morning, oh God Almighty, as preparation would have now been made, dear God Almighty, for yet another school term, oh God Almighty, when our children who would have, when our children will be, oh God Almighty, yet again from home. Some will be walked. Some, oh God Almighty, will be transported with all different kinds of transportation, oh God Almighty, to their classroom. They are got to be seated and to be educated by their educator, dear God Almighty, their mind, dear God. Oh Lord, their heart, dear God, their feet, uh, their eyes, their ears, oh Lord Almighty concentration focus oh god almighty i pray heavenly god almighty that the attitude of children will be displayed oh god almighty and not as adults oh god almighty to give the educator that courage oh lord to oh god felt with that need to continue to assist oh lord almighty so many of our children oh god almighty uh, not as children dear god almighty and i pray this morning dear god that we pray oh lord let us open up in every aspect of that which oh god almighty we will ensure that you will take our children into your hand under your shield and guidance and instruction Oh God Almighty, ensure that they remain. Ensure that uh, the child uh, with attitude instilled within them from home by their guardians, who is who is control they are under. Oh God Almighty, let them display the childhood attitude within the presence of not only their educator. Oh God Almighty, if it's even on was the taxi, if he even walking the road, dear God Almighty, let their attitude be considered by adults to be as children. Let their attitude fill us as adults, O oh God, to render every need and assistance to them, dear God Almighty, whenever time it will have it for us to do so. Guide your children this morning, dear God, I pray. Let your dove, your Holy Spirit, like a dove, rest upon your children. Oh God Almighty, so many unaware attacks, accidents, and incidents. Holy Spirit, even on the school ground, dear God Almighty, there is demonic attack. Even in the classroom, dear God Almighty, there is attack at home, dear God Almighty. And so we are aware of the unaware that is beyond our control to prepare for. Oh, well, 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 you all are already know and see it. And so we only can pray, believe in that, oh God Almighty, our children will receive uh, the necessary needs that they are in need of through your provision, dear God. I pray, Heavenly Father, dear God Almighty. 
to bless each and every one of your children, every educator on this platform, dear God Almighty, who sacrifice so many, oh God, have been tested to the point where, oh God Almighty, to quit their job, Holy Spirit of God, according to the behavior of many of these children. But I pray that you will fill this educator with courage, dear God Almighty. Instill, dear God Almighty, it's not personal as it was conceived, but a gift from thee to teach because, dear God, see yourself as an ox. If I should, oh God Almighty, when all I went all when I all, dear I was, so desirous, sleepless night, pursuing this career now. Oh, the Spirit of God Almighty, let not discouragement turn those educators, God Almighty. And so I pray for your instilled courage within your mind. <laughs> Strengthen this educator mind, oh God, physically, spiritually, and mentally. Mentally. Jesus Christ, I pray this morning, dear God Almighty, that even them, dear God Almighty, your spirit of guidance will rest upon them to and fro they go doing their profession work. Oh God Almighty, as I look to you this morning, oh God, continue to anoint this prior platform. Oh God Almighty. Bless the moderator, bless the founder, dear God. Bless each and every individual on this platform, dear God Almighty, as we patiently anticipate in the word, dear God. Whoever this morning, dear God, will bring forth this word, O oh God Almighty, let it be a uh, mighty sin, dear God Almighty, to our soul, and spiritual food to our body, O oh God, to offer us that strength to continue on this part where Jesus Christ, I pray in your name, Holy Spirit, our comforter, to God, our creator, I say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen and amen. Oh, be lifted above all other gods. We lay our crown and worship you. Oh, be lifted above all other gods. We lay our crown and worship you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We glorify your name this morning, God. We magnify you, we give you glory, we give you praise. We give you honor, most righteous and eternal Father. Mighty God, once more again, we come in your presence, mighty God, to lift up your holy name and to storm crown for you, Lord. We just worship you this morning. You are God of our lives. We thank you for life this morning, God. We thank you for lending us breath again, mighty God, that we can be awoken, God, to see another day, another Tuesday morning, Lord, one we have never, never seen before. And for that reason, we give you glory and we give you praise. Mighty God, I commit myself before you this morning. I pray, God, that you may wash me, cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Mighty God, forgive me of sins I've committed, known and unknown before you this morning. I just glorify your name. Here we are this morning on this prayer line. Mighty God, lifting up our children before you. Mighty God, the children, the children, God, the children. Mighty God, they are the future generations. Mighty God, the future pastors, the bishops, evangelists, the missionaries, the mothers, the deacons, the Sunday school teachers. Mighty God, we put them before you this morning. Mighty God, as they are getting ready, mighty God, to start another academic year. 
I put them before you, God. I pray you may cover them under your blood. Mighty God, as they go out in the classroom, mighty God, they will be mixing with different spirits. But I pray, God, that you may give them the spirit of worship this morning as they go out in the classroom. Mighty God, mighty God, you said children are an heritage and heritage mighty God and we put them before you this morning you know all about them you know all about them God you know all about them from they were conceived in their mother's womb until now you know all about them so mighty God I put them in your presence I put them up before you know God go before them go behind them go beside them hallelujah wrap them under your blood wrap them jesus envelop them god in your bosom mighty god mighty god protect them from all intruders the creditors god who are setting up they are lining up themselves at the different areas of the classroom doors and the corners the walls the gates this morning i pray god that you may blood up those gates blood up every door that the children should go through mighty god we come before you this morning i pray god that you may blood up every case mighty god that is not of you this morning mighty god give us give us give us god give us the victory again and again you have done it once god and you can do it more than one you're a faithful God. You're a promising God. You're an awesome God. There is nothing too impossible, God, for you to do as we put our children before you. Mighty God, we curse the strive. Mighty God, and anger from the parents. Mighty God, as they put out to the children. Mighty God, help them to be calm. Help them to be humble. Mighty God, as they show love. To their children we worship you this morning mighty god some of them are so stubborn some of them are so disobedient but mighty god it's because of the home this morning so this morning i present the homes before you i pray god that you may blood every corner every window every door every bed that the children lie on mighty god every chair in the house that they sit on set tea anything god they sit on blood it up this morning god give them give them a heart of love mighty god we are looking for some samuels we are looking for some davis this morning and we can find them mighty god all we have to do is lead them in the right way teach them the word mighty god teach them the word that mighty god as they go out to school every run they run or play there is a word coming from their mouth that is of you we worship you this morning and i pray god that you may bless every young person that is on this platform this morning cover them god under your blood cover them jesus cover them cover them mighty god the devil is out like a roaring lion seeking who they made up may not he made this devour but god you they are your children and they are covered under your blood and no weapon god formed against them this morning shall prosper they shall not prosper we just give you glory this morning and we give you praise i commit every prayer that has been prayed to you this morning and those god that have not already prayed i present each and every one on this platform before you mighty god the leading ones on this platform cover them under your blood mighty god cover them mighty god protection and care we just worship you this morning mighty god anything i fail to ask of you fail not to grant it unto me this morning and i give you thanks in jesus name hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah. Glory to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning. Good morning. This morning, faith walkers. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Our sister is online and we are going to let her in right now. 
that she will deliver the word that the Lord has given her for us and our children this morning and educate her herself. And this morning, the Lord, she's not coming as an educator this morning, but coming as a voice of the Holy Spirit to direct us this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of Jesus. And I must remind us, children of God, that are online as much as possible as we can, that we have declared in this day a day of fasting for our children as they go back to school. So let us be prayerful in that area. Coming to deliver the word of the Lord this morning is our own Dr. Jasmine Rose. I pray that we will receive her this morning and that we will pray her strength this morning as she delivers what the Lord has laid on her heart. The altar is now over to you, Dr. Rose, in care of the Holy Ghost. Thank you so much, uh, our evangelist and hostess of the program. Thank you all for having me. It's good to be on sharing about our children. And we already know that the children are indeed the future. I want to use this opportunity to greet all of God's wonderful people. I might not know your title. I might not know your name, but I'm greeting you in the name of the risen Lord. And um, just to let you know that I'm I'm doing the slant of the of the child as Moses. I don't know what the speaker before me did. Um because I I, I wasn't on unfortunately yesterday. I wasn't so I'm she going did to just... the, she did the rights of the child, Dr. Rose. Oh good she did the rights of the child. Well yes. um I'm I'm looking at the proper child. Amen. It's coming out of Hebrews eleven and verse twenty three. And um, the word proper here from the Greek, astiosos, means polished, manners, elegant, comely, fair, beautiful, proper. You know, proper as we know it is when we talk of a child who is polished. But the truth is, they were born to us to be polished by us, all right? So they, 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 they would have come into our space. They didn't ask to be here, but they have come. And so it is our duty to make sure they are well polished, they shine well, given the situation that we have. Father, I pray you'll bless the word of words of my mouth and the meditation of all our hearts together that God whatever I share this morning will be so guided by you amen so we we know that from very early Moses parents saw in him that he had potential mm -hmm. and right after he three months after he was born he was put in a in a basket he was hidden and um the, the the heart of a good mother is not going to allow her child to suffer at the hand of wicked um midwives who were given evil instructions to carry out so god would have put it in the heart of the mother to build a a basket and we know that story that Moses the proper child the child who had a potential could be hidden and um I want to just piggyback on hidden potential although Moses was put in a basket he was in height his potential must not be hidden his potential must be unlocked so as children of god we need to unlock the hidden potentials that our children possess i know we have a lot of educators uh, i know i have heard sister melrose from the early childhood department we have persons from primary secondary tertiary 
we have different ones because we would have taught them and we have mothers and if you're not even a mother you would have had some interaction with children and so as adults we need to identify these hidden potentials and so that we can nurture them so that our children can become the best version of themselves but they cannot do it alone are you with me i love when i see people you know <laughs> and, yes, and yes. i don't turn off the camera but that's all right yeah. Amen. Look at Moses. Amen. Moses. If we should look at some of the characteristics of Moses, Moses had leadership qualities. This same little baby that was hidden in the basket had hidden potentials, but they had to be unleashed. They he could not his potentials could not be hidden in the basket forever it had to come up out of the basket and in fact you know the name of Moses means drawn from the water so you have to draw out these potentials from our children help to draw them out because they are there so we need to unlock it he had leadership qualities he was brilliant he he had all the the, the, the the teachings from the the, the best in, in Egypt because he was schooled under the Egyptian uh, um, regime. You know, their academic uh, institutions would have opened up to, to Moses because he was the daughter, so-called, of Pharaoh's, um, Pharaoh's daughter. So he would have been exposed to the best type of education and so he was he, he was he was rounded he was he was an he was a rounded individual and some of us will say he was optimally rounded every area he was steeped in everything that was was going to bring out the best out of him all right so our children now so you get the background moses but we need now to look at our children when we unlock hidden potential this will help them to achieve their goals for future accomplishments so when we identify that our child our children they have the the leaning towards music for example you you, you might have them around the house knocking everything you can possibly they can possibly find. They're not the pot, they're not the fridge, they're not the table, they're not the chair. And truth is sometimes it is annoying, but they're knocking it and they are getting some kind of sound from it that they knock something else and they put two more beats to it because it is it is kind of spurring them on and they are motivated by the sound. Now, as parents, as adults, right, we we don't want to throw out the baby with the bath water so we need to pay attention here is a child who is getting some kind of rhythm from knocking the chair the fridge the railing and all of that so we are going to see in this child possibilities are that this child wants to do something in the arts music for example so we need to identify instead of kind of throwing um the cold water on them and 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 stuff we need to identify these potential and unlock help to unlock it because moses mother unlock his potential by teaching him the the history of the hebrew so he he was not only there in pharaoh's um house but he was there getting the right food and she would have emphasized the history of the hebrew people more than how uh moses would be exposed to the egyptian lifestyle so he was able to to make the distinction who he was so his identity was printed and he knew who he was 
because he had a mother. He had a caregiver who was willing to unlock his potential. All right. Being a leader, because he said the mother knew that this child would be the deliverer of the children of Israel. So she's going to unlock the potential of being a leader through Moses. All right. So we can we can see things in our children from early. You will have a child who will always be asking questions and questions and more questions. And that is the stage that they are at because you have different stages of development and children develop differently, even though the stages are there that they, they have to, to, to develop through um, intellectual development, social development, uh, or well, I did say cognitive development, their brain and everything is developing. So it is not just one part of the child developing one time, but the child is developed all the way through. So it's not just that the child is going to learn uh, to, to, to swing on a monkey wrench, for example, that little swing there or go through the loops and develop his, his or her muscles while the brain just say, I'm going to wait. It is it is like holistic development. So while the child is developing in one area, the child is developing in another and another. They, they are not done separate and apart. They are done together. So, but some children develop slower than others. We have to recognize what stage our children are. Are, are they, don't compare them because your child might, not be as developed as say your sister's child and they are at the same age do not compare them i always love the poem desiderata if you compare you will find that you become vain and bitter you know do not compare them just allow your child to to be who he or she is all right so there is the child knocking on these you realize the child has an aptitude for music you have another child who will 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 talk and talk don't shut them down just guide them because you might have on your hand a budding lawyer maybe a, a teacher and by the way not all of our children will be um doctors not all of our children will be teachers but wherever they their potentials are unlock it and appreciate where they're at and give all the support necessary for them to be who they are created to be. Um, when we do this, when we unlock their potential, they are, we're helping them to achieve their goals for future accomplishment. Encourage them to ask questions. Some of us don't want to answer our children and the sad part of it, they will go on the road, they will go in different groups and they will get answers. And some of these answers are not what we want as adults for them. So when our children are asking questions, do not hold them back. Um, encourage them to ask questions. This will help with their cognitive development. It will stretch their little brain and they will, you know, they're getting answers. And so when they get one answer, now they begin to ask. And you know, when children um they are they are they are developing their spirituality, they ask, so who 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 is God? And you, you give them an answer and they say, Who is God father? And who is God mother? And they begin to ask and do not throw out their their, their questions and, and, and consider it to be stupid, they are developing their spirituality. So when they are asking, so when, when, when they hear the thunder and they hear the, and they see the lightning flash and when the thunder, they say, boy, I gotta move this big chair, mommy. Don't, 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 don't see this as silly. They're trying to make sense of who God is in their little world. All right. So whichever, whatever they're saying, uh, try to, Try not to put a damper on it because they will not want to ask more questions. And when our children are developing their spirituality, they really mirror our spiritual development. So um, at a certain age, they're not able to, to think out of the box. Uh? They're not able to, 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 to think 
abstractly. They are not able to develop as much as we are. So they will come with little things. They can't understand the Bible stories, for example. Some of them cannot understand the Bible story that we give them. So at certain age, please remember that although we want them to be all Christians and they must be deep and they must, you know, speak in tongues and all of that, please remember the, the developmental stage of our children because there are some stories in the Bible that will scare our children to death. Do not force those stories on our children. Allow them to do, all right, for example, even the, the little boy who gave up his lunch. Good story, huh? You can, you can use that as a springboard um, to make a discussion. So why do you think the little boy gave up his lunch? And that kind of thing to help them. But as the children get older, you can give them like stories with Daniel being thrown in the lion's den. Because if you give a child at age five or three, Daniel thrown in the lion's den, that shows uh, it, it's scary and it, it makes it seem very wicked and all of that. So we have to we have to know where our children are in terms of their developmental stage before we can throw certain things from the Bible at them. Because, you know, it, it can really throw them over the curve. All right. So another area now, um, they, they know your children's interest. Because when you know their interest, you are better able to build them up. So uh, you, your, your child maybe uh, is not reading right now. It's not reading, but the, the child is at the age where they should be reading. And um, it's very hard for the child to, 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 to read. What you do, you find the child's interest. If the child is interested in fast cars or the child is interested in, in, in sewing or something like that, begin to, 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 to have the discussion around those things that the child shows greatest interest in um, so that you can help to build vocabulary build words around that area fast car the engine so you, you you're looking at the engine you're going to teach the child about the steering the tire um these these are some of the things so the child is is, is going to be identifying with something that they love uh they, they are going to they are going to be more inspired if they if they realize um that it is an area of interest Another thing is you might find that your child shows an interest in sports. Some parents don't really want children to be in sports because they think, hey, no, that is a waste of time. And some of the children want to be pastors. You can know it from very early. Parents don't want to spend any money if your child is, 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 is leading towards the, the, being a pastor or um a, a, a church worker they don't really like that but if you see your child's interest and you play a blind eye you would have been stifling your child's growth and development so again please try to identify the area of interest um that your child is showing please do not push it away i suffered from that because my son, he said to me one day when he, when he was growing up, he said he wanted to do mixing. Now, as a mother, I didn't understand what he meant. It would have been a sound engineer. I mean, that, that would be what he meant. He meant that. So I just said to him, if you want to do mixing, I'm, I, I am not going any further with you in school because you don't really need schooling. You don't need an education because if all you want to do is mix music, mix, mix. I say, what is this? I didn't understand it was sound engineering. I had no idea and I did not push. I did not endorse it. He still speaks about it that mommy did not, you, you didn't let me do what I really loved. And uh, he went to UTech. He said to me, mommy, I'm just going to do the degree and I'm going to give you the certificate. Trust me, people of God, he didn't literally give me the certificate, but it worked out to be that, you know, but 
this is what we have to guard against. Do not try to push your children in things that you like for them and not necessarily what they like because Amen. you are going to get into trouble. The same thing I was doing with my daughter. I said, Olivia, I'm not sending you to university if you're not going to do Spanish. She said, Mommy, but I don't want to do Spanish. I want to do psychology. And, and the truth is, from I was pregnant with Olivia, all I read were a psychology books. And I just picked that child from Freud, from Rogers, from Erickson, all the psychologists. And today she's a psychologist. But I did not want her to be that. I wanted her to be what I I am a Spanish teacher. She stood out. She said, no, I am not. So sometimes we want um, to our children to live our lives. We want them to live out through. We want to live our lives through them. And that is not fair to our children. So we need to guard against that as best as we can. People of God, let us learn to encourage and appreciate our children. I tell you a story. My daughter is into selling cups and she has printed some cups with, I appreciate you. Might I tell you, none, very few of those cups sell. All the other cups are going like hot bread because people in general do not learn to appreciate each other. So for me to give you a cup, I appreciate you, would take out so much out of me. Now, as we celebrate our children, we need to learn to encourage and appreciate them. Too often, we do not praise them for their little accomplishments. And this will help to build their confidence. Uh, I, I tell you something. I know that my son wasn't very good at math. He never liked math. And one day he did um, at an internal test at his school. My son, I think he got something like 50%. I remember going down to Hori Hori. It was Bashko. And I bought him a little pencil case because that's what I could afford. And I gave him a pencil case to congratulate him for getting 50% in math. Some parents would begin to curse out their children. How come you, you, you only got, you only got, come on. Your only got is my very best. And you will know your children. You must know your children and what their ability is. And you're going to push them, yes? You're going to push them because you're not going to just settle for mediocre. No, you're going to push them. But you have to know your children, know who can take the pushing. I made my children uh, this. this I, I said to them, look, two of you. I said to Philip, if you can read a book per week, I'm going to give you, I think, 2,000. I could not do that with Olivia because Olivia said, I was just waiting for you to give me the same challenge mommy i was just waiting no i would be i would be bankrupt so you have to know your children to give them and to set targets for them and be realistic you know be realistic as you set the targets and we have to be careful um oh we push them we 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 we, we tend to sometimes push them. they were not encouraged and appreciated by the adults around them, they were mainly bashed. A child will live what he or she learns. We model the behavior for our children. We cannot expect our children uh, to, to, to model, uh, to be good at values, to keep good values and um, be honest and to, to, to be punctual, be responsible, when as adults, we never model it. So I always say, values are caught, they are not taught. If a child sees you stealing electricity, you would have modeled the behavior. How come? So 
you have we have to all remember values are caught they are not taught i can use my family as example i remember when my daughter was boarding at westwood there is a set time when you take um food stuff for them they are very very um reg well i don't want to use the word regimental but you do not break their rules they the the, the students know that rules and um, regulations are to be kept i went to visit my daughter this particular weekend and i um it wasn't the weekend to take snacks you can take them all the fruits in the world they don't have a they don't have a, a, a cutoff date on fruits. Weekends are open for fruits, but snacks, like the biscuits and all those. I took the bag with the snack to my daughter at Westwood when she was in boarding. And I said, come on, Olivia, take this. This is what I can for you. Olivia started crying, mommy, this is not the weekend for me to get snacks. And I'm like, take it, take it, because you're going to be hungry, child. And I'm like pushing her to take it. And she would not take it because she knew the rule. I, as a parent, you know the rule, but you want to still break it so that your child will not be hungry. No values. I'll never forget that she, she cried. I had to go back home with the snack because values are caught. They are not taught. And she said to me, but mommy, you told me not to break rules. And I was right there trying to give it to her. So we have to understand um, what it is when we have children, we have to model the behavior, model it. People, I could tell you a number of things using my own children, because what you hold up in front of them, they are going to do. When my son was at the a certain high school in Mandeville. Um, teachers call me to say, come for you, come. There's an emergency concerning your son. I went to the school, I said, what happened? A girl beat him on his breast. And I said, Philip, why you didn't hit her back? Mommy, you said never to hit girls. So all of these things, people, we have to be careful, model the behavior that we want to see in our children. And remember, as I come to a close, create a nurturing environment so that our children can grow carl rogers one of our humanities humanitarian um psychologists he said that they're like flowers you create an environment the flower will grow but if you take away certain things from that environment the flower isn't gonna grow so we have to create a nurturing environment and um, to bring out the best in our children. Please remember to introduce our children. And the truth is, you might say, but but um, Sister Rose, a nurturing environment when I cannot even nurture myself. Uh -uh. It is not so much the big money and the things. Nurture. When you are nurturing, you, when you create a nurturing environment, the child is not exposed to the the, 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 the lewd music and the, the whole lot of calendar in the house with naked women. And, and you know, you, you create an environment that is conducive for the, the proper development and growth of your children. We owe it to them. And even if we are, we are not earning big money, it don't take big money all the time to create a, a, a nurturing environment. Be there for your children. Be there when it is. Listen, a lot of our parents, you know, could not read. Some of our parents couldn't read. But let me tell you something. There was a nurturing environment. They sit around the table with, with the, the home, sweet home lamp. And though they can't read, they sit there. They are in the environment. They might not sit around the table, but they are here. Amen. Nearby. Amen. And they they are going to see to it that you finish your assignment. Um, you're 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 doing something that that is worthwhile. No, information is at your fingers tip. You can you can get it from internet, but they were there. Their parents were there back then. 
sometimes no all we 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 are on a rush we are on a rush a child cannot come with anything go to school go go let the teacher help you no you know even to the way in which we say it to our children because you can say the same thing yes because you don't really understand it but you can also send even a note or let somebody write it and say teacher i do not really understand how to help my child could you spend a few minutes um explaining the assignment that kind of have a relationship with the child's teacher uh, it is very important that we do those of us who are very serious about our children's growth and development and um finally communicate and celebrate your child's success communicate with your child ask your child direct questions it's it's not so easy because we are we were some of us weren't given that so it is hard for us to to talk to our children um because of how our our own upbringing was but i'm going to encourage all of us to find a way you don't have to take your child to a five star hotel to talk to a child you can just do a little walk what if one if you understand you can just tour you coming from church and you never drive tour you walking and you can say some things to your child don't some questions like you know what 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 are your what what you love to do what you i see some children collect but again too i don't even know what children do for hobbies anymore i don't even know what they do for hobbies is it surfing the net if you do that for your hobby how long do you spend surfing the net these are some of the questions and you you know you you try to guide them that since you have schoolwork to do um how long do you think you should surf the net for try and and, and hear the answers set set rules with your children not for your children because if you do set rules for them they're going to break them because you need to allow them to give you sanctions what uh, if you do so and so how do you think mommy should should uh what, what should mommy do let them help to set the rules and the sanctions as well and please remember um if you are having difficulties if you are having challenges with your children and how they are progressing always remember to reach out to someone else that you know you don't just stay there and you are not able to help your child because what i have just presented is for raising a proper child what if in your home you have a child who is stubborn um disobedient all those you have those set of children too you might not have the the children who this presentation fits how do you treat with a child that is very unruly and as a parent you are trying your very very best you are doing all you know in the book what do you do in cases like that we i i i want to suggest that there are specialists in the areas that can help to steer your child we have guidance counselors but the truth is some of us as parents do not want um to reach out to guidance counselors because you we don't want our children to look bad in the face of um somebody else but i am asking us not to take that approach why because if we stay there in the mess we are going to become 
so accustomed to the mess that we don't want we need persons to help us out of it so you do have christian counselors you do have excellent guidance counselors you do have um educational coaches academic coach coaches you have dean of disciplines and they are trained to deal with students who are disobedient and i want us to understand that we can have hardcore talk with our children um say to them especially those of the of our children who they are aspiring to to go overseas and they are breaching the laws of the land they are doing things that are out of the ways drugs they are on drugs they are on this you need to remind them that some of them have the intention to go overseas and if you have that intention you have to make sure that a police record can be given of you at any time that will not prevent you from moving to the next level explain to your children that they are writing their own police record explain to your children that they are writing and it's the truth i i, I don't want to even say the, the other I, but they are writing their own recommendation um yes they're writing their own recommendation let's give me a minute so we we have to sorry we have to be very straightforward with them i was told of a mother i i, I this was a little frightening because i don't think i could do it but the mother said she's been warning her child to walk the straight and narrow and the child constantly and it's not that she was living in front of the child a good life but the child constantly disobeys and one day she asked somebody from the funeral home to come. I don't know if she got a hearse to come. I had no idea, but she took the child down to the morgue and it was prearranged. And um, have them pull out the, the bodies, the cadavers. And she said, she explained to her son, that if you continue the path that you're on, I don't know if the if the morticianists took out the ones that were shot by <laughs> the, their cronies, I don't know. But she showed the child, you know, that must have been traumatic, mark you. But she said when she showed the child, they, they showed the child the, the, the bodies of persons who live recklessly and how they died by the gun. The child never, never um, went down that line anymore. But we do know that that, is, that can be very scary. But she had to take a tough love approach uh, to this child. I don't know. I, I don't know. Boy, this, this was really gruesome. But the, this must have made this child have some real nightmares. But I'm not suggesting you do anything like that. But there is something that is called tough love. You have to, you have to exercise tough love sometimes. But you've got to have the training for it. So it's not everybody can just jump in and begin to do these 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 um these activities. These these what you'd call now strategies. Um, for behavior change you can't you have to be careful there are some strategies yes you can do with children who are less aggressive right but you can't take that risk with children you have some children that are notorious they are evil and you have to seek the help of trained people 
psychologists, you have to find persons who are guidance counselors, you have to find counselors. And again, you're going to say to me, what would be the cost? I'm sure there are some persons who can be reached and they will not take um, a fee from you. Those in restorative um, programs, they will not take a fee. It's just a matter of you knowing and information really is power. I wish I had the, the numbers of persons, telephone numbers, that people, with, that, that adults who know of children who are um, aggressive and all of that. And the truth is, it is coming out of their background, their reality. Children are not just born, they're not born bad. It's the environment. It is about the nature nurture debate right here that can um, destroy your children. I'm up for you to ask me two questions and then I go. Please, please open your microphones and ask me some questions. This is the A and Q session. Answering questions, Q and A, question and answer, Q and A session. Please ask me the questions. I would be willing to answer if I am able to. Good morning, Dr. Rose. Good, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Um, I want to ask you a question. I'm listening and I heard you speak of, um, you know, sometimes the child want to become a particular love, love, love a particular career and we might be pushing the child into what we love or so and that is true but what i am asking in these days and age when we look at the career part sometimes let me say let i use my daughter as a living example yeah. she do went to you and she do for a year at, um, in social work and she came out and she didn't get a job she applied a lot of places no job and i've seen other person in my community who do the same thing and it was the same result and even now looking on the career part it is very ticklish for um young people to choose so sometimes yes they might love that but it is not marketable that's right you, when you finish you don't you know you you you, you don't easily get a, a a a a job in it what do you have to say about yeah. that um, thanks for that question, um, Mother. The thing is, a lot of times we we don't do adequate research on the career path that we are going to choose because we have careers, fairs at school, and careers this. But we have to we have to look way down the line. We have to look way down the line. What is flooding the market right now here at church teachers college we no longer offer well we are trying to for years i'm here i when i came here first i had a full class of students that were tr being trained for religious education they were going to be religious education teachers as time progressed i realized i was down to three students three students coming to be trained then two then none history the same so we are trying now to um revitalize those programs what am i saying we have to look at the changing world when and and, and talk careers with our children from early because if the research you have to look um down the line you, you it is but the truth is you go overseas with a social worker uh degree and you 
have more jobs than you can possibly uh, dr rose i must interject i was just waiting i was just yeah. waiting to say that that um probably the, the, the market for social work in jamaica is not wide but try the no. caribbean yes it is try needed. the caribbean it because is needed. you have to understand what we have to understand is that a lot of persons probably don't pay especially in jamaica we, we probably don't have that deep problem where we need social work Just we have right. a problem in about the, the the feel is not there for it so but when you go abroad because they can't beat and they can't do that there's the, the feel for there's social work market. that is very wide there's so i would market. say try the caribbean yes there's a big market so and again to look at the religious education my students before they, 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 they dwindle down religious education they are employed in uk if you want to teach religious education you go to uk apply to uk they have cut it out of the schools here in jamaica so they're not doing it some schools not doing it at all some only doing it at third form so again uh -huh. research the market if you are not overseas minded or you don't want to leave your country then you have to tap into what is on the rise in your country but if if i were choosing a career path i would take something that is versatile you can add to it you know she, i tell you something if you're young and and even if you're not so young you can do other courses online you can do courses and and change your career path or add to it you're not changing it add to it add to it i don't think you should throw it out i don't think you should throw it out and i'm going to encourage us those of us with children always do something that that um you see technology do a little thing somewhere somewhere get a little niche somewhere because that is you can't have too much of that because if you're going into a, being a secretary now ai going to take away your work can i tell you because uh, they the, 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 the preach, bosses, yeah, man. Preach, yeah the bosses preach. don't really need you anymore to write their speeches you know no. or anything you know you just put in what you want and you and ai artificial intelligence just give you and they have another one that is even better than ai right so even now at the, at the college level we are grappling now how do we um help our children to use these devices ethically so all of this is very important to children children of god nobody nobody can tell you say you didn't write your speech because ai will do a fine job of it that is where and we doctor, are and, and dr rose i oh, right. i I went to choose um help my daughter to choose. She's 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 14 and I went to help her to choose her subject for the C sec. And she wants to do music. And I am telling her that um you have, you have to get something else to enhance it because further down the road, nobody going want nobody to write no music for them. So I said, listen. Let's put in foods in there because people will always want to eat. That I mean, a true. Thing computer can't cook yet. That is true. So let's right. put in foods with it. Put in foods, put in something that people, nobody don't want to be Morticia, you know. Nobody don't want to be a pathologist to deal with any dead or anything, but people must die. Nobody don't. Some people you want to make floral arrangement, do reeds, do I'm all, you know. Work and make, make something that, yes because these are some areas that will never be depleted never die you can't you can't have an influx in these areas because it is just what it is so we have to guide our our children yes. go with them open them up to different um give them reason not rough yes. them up give them you reason don't just give them just help them i went to a careers fair donut donut a school in an infant school and i saw this little boy just give them reasons he was dressed up in arm um, as a police so i said wow you want to be a police you know those career fairs you know careers day is that's what it's called sister melrose and the little boy came out 
openly in the class and say, it's not police me to do on me to my parents and couldn't afford the clothes. <laughs> yes, you know, and it just mean like this. I say, okay, all right. So it, the truth is sometimes oh, we, we dress oh, our children in the career that they really can't make a living from it. We dress them up in it and say, go, do this, do this. And nobody wants to be a farmer. Nobody wants to be a farmer. Um, Minister Rowe. Um, Minister Rowe. Yes, Mr. Yes, Mary. Um, what you said a while ago is cool. I remember the last the last careers day we had at school. This all along this little girl came with saying she was want to be a nurse, she want to be a nurse, she want to be a nurse. And the morning when she came in, she did not dress like a nurse, and her face was long, sulky. Sad, yes. It was not the child that that I used to because when she comes in the morning. The first place she run is my desk and she'd grab me and hug me. And I did not get the hug that morning. Mm -hmm. I called her, I said, what is wrong with you, my baby, my sweet pie, my honey bunch? Mommy, no, give me my nurse clothes. Mommy, 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 put me in a teacher clothes. Me no one be no teacher, oh, man. Me no nurse. I'm from the whole day. I could not get anything from that child. Mm -hmm. Snap time, she would not eat. I have to take her and put her in my lap and just talk to sing jingles and start to go on with all kind of mimics to get her to eat. It threw her off for the whole day. And when the, the parent came in the afternoon, I spoke to her, I said, why did you not give her the uniform? She said, um, teacher, I wanted to, but it's me one. You couldn't I'm afford it. The money to afford the, uni the, the, the nurse uniform because it's expensive. The, the, the career um, costumes are expensive. And I have to talk to her, talk to her. And before school closed, she said, me not be no teacher, nurse, me not going to be closed or no closed. I was shocked when I right. heard the little girl say that. So Excellent. I understand what you're saying. Excellent. And again, to people of God, children can understand. All that mother needed to have done, explain to her daughter and ask her what would be her second choice in terms of a, um, a uniform to wear. That little girl would have understood. Um, we need to allow our children to make choices, guided choices. And, and that is where we have taken this away from them. And a number of us would have done Eric Erickson um trust versus mistrust and all of those the children you, you must allow them allow them if you go out in the supermarket with them please if they are doing snacks as you show them the area that you can afford and allow them to choose their snack show them the area that you can afford and they will pick up but what we do we constantly do things choose for them mess them up in the long end and uh, this is what happened now we are at the point, people of God, where we need to take the prayer request. So I'm handing back to our able moderators because um, it's now 7.20. So I think just before you go, Doctor, I was just to interject, um, you know, about, I didn't even remember this, um, about the whole literally like forcing children um, to do things as young as they are. And sometimes we just have to trust our children to make their own decisions and yes. remember that we have lived our lives and that some of us yes we want the best for our children don't get me wrong we want the best for our children but we have to ensure that they too have a choice a say and you know if it is to gently guide because sometimes some parents are very forceful when it comes to that yep. um and you know just to gently guide and and just to help them to come to a sense of awareness like sister lisa said to her daughter you know point out to her that she didn't outright oh, say no you can't do the music but you have to have something else to supplement it right i remember um when i was working at the college too i had a student teacher who i was supervising and um this was a bright girl coming from the same school their daughter went to aced all yes. her six C's, right so you know this is a bright girl we're using she came to the college and she failed the first year miserably so by the time I got her, she was in about third year. She should have been about graduating or have graduated at then. And nobody wanted this girl. And they gave her to me. 
And, you know, in getting to know her and talk to her, she said, I did not want to be a teacher. I want to be a lawyer. When I digged a little deeper, she was adopted. So, you know, that is a whole different kind of worms. Yes. Yes. So I started to talk with her and I said, what does your mother do? Your mo her mother, that is her adopted mother. Her mother is a teacher. What's your father do? My father is a teacher. Um, do they have any biological children of their own? Yes. What does she do? She's a teacher. So I said, why do you think, not to put the wrong idea in your head, but why do you think that you would know out of all these this family of teachers be the one to be a lawyer i said to her do not give up on your dream of being a lawyer but take what you're getting now yes. and when i said that to her you know it was a sense of awareness that came to her because in her mind they could afford to send her to law school and all of that but not that you know i don't know these people but she's adopted and their yes. biological child is a teacher you understand? Yes. And so when I said that to her, she, you know, kind of came around and I said, take what you are getting. Another thing I'll quickly say, because I have to go about the whole idea of children making their decisions. My daughter just turned nine and she just turned nine. And in the summer, I, her father and I, we allowed her to make a very tough decision. It was tough for us. And I'm sure it was tough for her, but she got time to think about it and she made her decision and she stuck by it. She knew what she wanted. So a lot of times you underestimate these children and feel like they don't know what they want. They she and my daughter knew the consequences um, because we were, we were going to be separated for like a week or two. And she understood that, you know, we it is just us three and this decision that I am holding to because this is what I want. I want to be at this summer camp. It is going to put me out of my comfort zone yes. um, a bit. And we allowed her to make that decision. You know, even though we were get, not so fearful, but, you know, not so happy about it and all of that, you know, a little bit, you know, our child is and stuff. So we, uh, the point I'm making is just that we have, to, and a lot of us parents, we do not listen to our children, we say, adapt me, say, adapt me, say, adapt me, say, adapt me, say, and that's it. And we are so dogmatic and so very, um, very, very overly, you know, strong with certain things. And we have to be careful. Thank you so much, um, Pastor Maxwell Johnson, for um, that addition. And thank you all very much for listening and for coming in. Um, I am at work. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to come off the platform, but continue to pray for me. Love you all. Uh, we'll do a better job next time. <laughs> Bless well you, done, Dr. Rose. Well done. Amen, amen. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Word of you know, God. What an interesting um, morning. Um, Sister Anne Marie, good morning. Pastor Mitchell, mic is open. Oh. Go ahead, sir. think he's asking if we're hearing him no pastor mitchell we're not hearing you no, we're not hearing you sir over to you sister and i'm not sure what he's doing i'm not hearing him anyone hearing pastor mitchell no but um, lady 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 let's Yes, Dr. Rose. Um, as we are on this topic of children, people of God, we should try to have a, um, like, a, I don't want to use that word. We, we should have a group where persons with nice books that are not tattered and torn, we, we could develop um, some 
way of passing down textbooks if if it's a case where children can um benefit from some of these books so to cut costs because a book everything back. You, a book back thank you thank you good morning everyone we um, um dr rose because right now i have a lot of books that my niece use going to she did not even use them i bought oh. them when she was going to mount saint joseph and i have a lot of them here that um i give away some to some persons that ask for them but i have some here that are still new and i i would be glad if we could make a book club and then we yes, could pass them, them to somebody yes have a central place you, you come to drop off and you get books and a lot of times we have some books we don't even need them because you, you don't realize that all the things are online so it's only the primary the in those books that don't have workbook you can give them away as long as they're using them knowledge is always there man and good morning good morning faith work good morning people of god um you know um i'm here listening um about the children and the career and um you know the children um they have say but you know that the career because i'm a grandmother and i have a granddaughter that um, my son died so you know i am the one that me and my daughter we are the one that help look after that child along with the mother and you know all of the career stuff they are not they are not cheap the whole of them is expensive because my church family asked me to purchase a police uniform for her son and it it there out of all of them it's there than the nurse clothes and the and the fire clothes they are approximately nearly five thousand dollars yeah for the career clothes that um those children needed they are all expensive all expensive they are not they are not the the the, the people in the in the you know in the in the in the in the diaspora when they sell it it is very you cannot it's shocking you cannot you can never would uh, expect that you know a little child you know a career clothes cost so much money very very much expensive to be honest yes thank you that is good my morning. point good morning just a minute doctor i'm um, yes, asking you to pray for my niece Kevoy. she's going through that as well because she graduated july and she wanted to do baking and her father wanted to force her into teaching say baking is too expensive she called me very very regular crying and said she she don't want to go to a college to teach she just wanted to baking we're oh, trying to get to the father my sister passed off with her mother so the father have the father said he have a hundred percent rights and her daughter oh. won't be doing it so she's crying and she said it's it's depressing because she don't want to be a teacher god is answer man god will answer the prayer okay god so will answer the prayer. yes take her the name i see her lady let's lady let's so you are going to establish a book bank and also a carrier's bank why i say careers some of the children whose parents would have bought a nurse uniform go that out long time police uniform go that out long time so these, one books, year. One these year. could be made available at the school donate them to the school that that parents people we have to learn to cut costs you know and and the, donate these to the schools the police uniform the soldier uniform and all of these and if you don't even want to donate it, are you you they're in good condition and you want a thousand dollars? Just say it. Let's have this as a carrier room that the children can even go and look at the different uniforms. So it is even a teaching tool. But if you have people who have those, give it, give it up, man. I grow it out. Will do, will do, will do. Bless the Lord. Lady Anne Marie. Blessing, blessing. Blessing, Minister. Blessing, everyone. Blessing, everyone. What an interactive morning. 
What an interactive morning. God is really good. Hallelujah. He's worthy to be prayed. Amen. Anybody have a saying that say, stay in your lane. My God Almighty. Oh, Only could be a teacher to inter- instruct us, to guide us about children. My God. Hallelujah. Dr. Ray has done a wonderful word this morning. Hallelujah. As parents, teach us how to, to guide our children, to direct our children, career wise. Teach us this morning how to guide, how to protect our children. Public about this is very true. So many times we want to tell our children what to do. They, sometimes they say they want to be a teacher, and we decide that no, you're not going to be any teacher. You're going to be a nurse. You're going to be a policeman. You're going to be a soldier. But this morning, thank you, man of God, for Lord be the God, for directing us as parents, as grandparents. God is really good. Course. that is really really good you know i thank god for this platform this interactive platform you know, you come, we come in each morning we don't know each other what god we serve but glory be to god it come like we know each and every one of us god is good glory be to god just open the mic and us god begin to give god worship this morning but he's good and his mercy hallelujah endure it forever come on somebody open up hallelujah. your mic and us begin to give god worship in the name of Jesus, not because they are teenagers, not because they are getting into man, we are to listen to them sometimes, we have to take our time. In the name of Jesus, interrupt with them. Do not try to calm them down. We thank the Lord Jesus for this holy Lord of blood, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The input of the thank the Lord by the mighty name for each and everything that I've said. Everything that I've said, Almighty God. Line them up to your glory in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord God Almighty. The children in the future. They are the next pastors. They are the next lawyers. They are the next mighty God evangelists. Mighty God. And we can go on and go on. We thank the Lord. We place them in your hands and we tell the thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. If there any need, can you pray for the preacher for me? Morning. Do you need it? Yes, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Father, we worship you this morning. We exalt you. We magnify your name, O oh Lord. We lift you up in adoration. We give you glory. We give you honor. We thank you, Almighty God, for the strength, O oh God Almighty, of your daughter. We thank you for this presentation. O oh God, that really teach us how to listen to our children and what to do and to take part, Almighty God. And we know, oh God, that we pray that you will strengthen her, you will lift her up in every area, oh God Almighty, at school, at home, in our family. Oh God, we ask her to cover her. Oh God, we pray, journey in mercies wherever she go. Oh God, we pray that God, you will anoint her afresh, Almighty God. 
We thank you, Lord, for your presence. We thank you for the power, oh God, that you have given to her. We thank her for at all times that she's able to avail herself and to, to allow you, Almighty God, to speak to her, Almighty God. And so, God, we look to you this morning that whatever her desires are, Almighty God, I don't know. But you know her desires, you know her needs, oh God, and her family needs, Almighty God. You know, oh God, everything about her. And so we ask her to strengthen the areas, Almighty God. Remove every darkness that lies around and about her in this time and now, forever and ever. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, amen. Mm -hmm. That agreement with that prayer by saying, Amen. Glory be to God. I hear the song of the same this morning. Hallelujah. I'm pressing on the upward way. New eyes and gaining in every day. Still praying. I am word bound. Lord, plan our fears on higher your ground. Lord, lift me up and let me stand by faith and then stay higher plan. I have found, Lord, let my feet on earth ground. with again, Lord, lift me up, hallelujah, and let me stand by feet on earth, then forever. Ah, your place. Oh, glory be to God. Then I have found Lord and my feet on our program. Hallelujah. Mighty God. Hallelujah. Plant our feet this morning, God. On higher ground, mighty God, this week is children week. God, next week we just open up school, new term. And so this morning we give up thanks for our children. We thank you for your neighbors, children. We thank you for our church family, children. We thank you this morning for our grandchildren. And so we put them up for this morning. We give you honor and we worship this morning, mighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God, hallelujah. You are mighty and you are great and you are wonderful. Glory be to God, before we teach you that, we got to pray for our children. Um, evangelist, let's talk about our evangelist. I don't really know. She can explain more on that. She wants a time of silence for our party. Bless the Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just tell you, I want to talk about your cousin. It's compressible. Hmm. 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 
Could you please repeat that, Sister Anne Marie? I said, if you want to talk a little about her, maybe the person don't know. Uh. Listen, listen. Um, we all know um evangelist Delon, Mr. Judith. Um, I met her. Um, she's from AFB. Yes, and was the first mind. But I didn't know much about her. I was um early pastor. That was my husband's best friend who introduced her to this prior line. It was a, um, her pastor at the time. And um, I was there looking, um, seeking for somebody to minister one morning. And he told me not to worry about tomorrow morning because he has an evangelist at his church. And she um, he's going to let her come on the prior line. Didn't know much about her, as I said before. And um, he was, um, she, he told me her name and I introduced her the day. And from that moment, Evangelist Dylan has been with us from on um, Faith Walk. And we have, you know, been praying. She has ministered on this line. She's prayed for person on this line, um, talking about singing hymnal, hymns, um, songs from the hymnal. She's the one who, you know, allowed me to know most of those songs. She is a she was a blessing indeed. Um, always, you know, encouraging what my, my husband and myself. My prayer was for her to be back in Jamaica, you know, but it was not the plan of the Lord. Because the Lord, you know, know what he's doing. And I'm here thinking that it's it's sad that we lost um a woman of God, a loving and a caring woman. But one of the things that I look at, I am here thinking about most of the times when we used to, you know, talk to each other and she's saying that, oh, the doctor says this and she has to do this and um, the amount of operation that she had to do. And what I'm using for comfort at this moment, I said, in one of the groups that I text in, I said, Sister Dylan has no more pain, no more sorrow. I was going to say no more bills, no more, you know, doctor bills, no more here and dear, you know, for her to be, um, to go. And I'm looking at and I'm saying, God is so good, you know, to take away the pain. And I knew this song when I was growing up. Um, I think it's Kirk Franklin. He'll take the pain away. I know he'll take the pain away. And I can truly say that the Lord has taken her pain away. Sometimes the Lord, the Lord will heal the way he sees fit to heal his people. Sometimes we pray and we ask the Lord to heal and the way how he heal. He knows the reason why he healed her in this farm, you know, to take her life in um this way i am saying no most of the time she will say sister let's um the doctors this is the doctor's report i'm telling you she has been through so much so much i remember once she was going on an attack and i was um there it was a sunday and i was there resting and i had to wake up and i called her and i said sister dylan i don't know i know what you're going through but lord just told me to pray for you and she said woman of god you are so right because i'm going through it and it's just the i am it's just a lot it's just a lot but i'm still holding on and we prayed that night i truly believe that god heal her i don't know about anything else but i know that the lord has healed her this is the way that he has healed her as i heard dr rose mention this morning we all have to die and a lot of christian we oftentimes say this 
Everybody okay. wants to go to heaven and nobody wants to die. Some persons want to be caught up. I wish to God that. But there is coming a day, people of God. I'm telling you, it's just one behind the other. I lost my sister. Uh, you know, it's just one behind the other, behind the other, behind the other. But I know for sure that God, God knows best, you know. God knows best. And we continue. I was there looking for her, one of her message and her songs that she oftentimes sings. But it's there on, on maybe Tea Time or Faith, um, Faith Walk. And I will definitely try and get it up one of these days and send it into the Faith Walk group. But we continue to pray one for another. And I know for sure that I will definitely miss this woman of God. And she has done so much for all of us on this prayer line i'm telling you she has done a whole lot for all of us she has touched all of us lives don't know if there's anyone else mother is that you are that yes it's me it's me okay. as you were talking about she ministered on this line so many times even while she was admitted in the hospital because sister dylan was when when i saw what are you talking about place, yes what are you while talking she's in the hospital when huh? you, when when a preacher texts in and say I'm unable to her morning, I would just text her and say, Sister Julian, I know the situation you're in, but you have to share the word tomorrow morning. She ministered to us. What happened to Sister Dillon? What happened to Sister Dillon? She's gone home, mother. Oh. Oh. Sister Let. Yeah, she. She ministered to us. She ministered to us from this very, from her hospital bed. That's um, she yes. said, like from, from Wonderful woman of yes, God. From her mm -hmm. I've been okay. trying to get to her, you know, I've been trying to get, and I didn't have a number. I just didn't have a number. Good morning. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, sisters. Good morning, Good sister Kara. Good morning. Good morning. Um, this is Good morning. Sister Peggy. Go ahead, sister Peggy. Um, um, since we are on the topic of praying for the children. Thank you, God. I would ask you to pray for her for us. Because we can't understand that she didn't be dead. I ask you to pray for her four sons. They were there for her. She was my best friend and my colleague in Thornton. Jesus. Jesus. She lived well. She left a legacy in Thornton, the young people. Yes. Everybody yes. can testify for that lady's life that she lived in that district. <laughs> I'm in Florida. And her sons are bearing the brunt of this this morning. <laughs> Please pray for her children. Please pray for her boys. They are the one who has to take up everything from her. Okay. Mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God. Thank you, God. Okay. We're going to offer up her for her and also for you. She's out of her pain. Oh, yes. Oh, In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. In the sweet by and by we shall meet on that beautiful shore in that sweet 
by and by we shall meet on that beautiful shore in that sweet by and by we shall meet on that beautiful shore in that sweet by and by we shall meet on that beautiful shore oh in that sweet by and by we shall meet on that beautiful shore in that sweet by and by we shall meet on that beautiful shore ah father we honor you this morning father we thank you this morning we thank you we thank you god happy are those who die in the lord and we are only hearing of good reports hallelujah father you know when to call your soldiers home even though it might leave us in tears it might leave us with memories but god anything that you do with your children is well done with you and so father as we miss minister dylan yes oh god we can hear the tears we can hear the surprise we also can hear the hope a lot of persons were hoping that she would come back mighty mm -hmm. god but god we don't know your plan we don't understand nothing that you do mighty god we we can't fathom you we can't fathom you god and that's what makes you god but so father as we mourn in our own way with tears with sigh with regrets with hurt i pray god that you will comfort your children father we don't mourn this morning as if we have no hope but God, we just would love for Sister Dylan to be back and we would love to hear another, oh God, sermon from her. We would love to hear her pray again. We would love to hear her sing again. Her children, oh God, would have loved to see Mama sitting in the house again. They would love to see Mama come and cook some food again. But God, we all know that it's appointed oh mighty god but we thank you god for the life that she has lived we thank you god that we are not just shaking our heads and saying hmm, hmm, hmm. no we are saying we have the memories of the words that she speak somebody just testified that even when she was on her sick Thank God she was a minister in the world. What a way to go out. What a way to exit this world. Oh, with Jesus still spreading the word of God. And we thank you for her life. We thank, thank you for the legacy. We thank you for the prayers that have changed life. We thank you for the sermons that have win souls for your kingdom. We thank you for the words that she has spoken of compassion oh god that she has shown somebody said she was the best friend somebody said she was the best mother somebody said she's always there for them what a way to exit this earth and we thank you for her life this morning father we thank you for the legacy that she has left behind. And for those of us who are sorry that she's gone, for those of us who are crying, I pray God that you will comfort your children. Oh God, there is not a tear that you don't understand. And I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that we will take a page from Minister Dylan's book to stand up to stand up for jesus be a soldier of the cross live for him until the very last moment father we pray that you comfort those who are crying and those who are sighing and those who are groaning god 
and restore us, God, and, and, and let her life, oh God, be an example to say to us, live good, walk good, talk good. Mm -hmm. We don't know the minute nor the hour. Some of us Come might not be lying in a sick bed. Some of us can be taken out even while we're walking. Live for Jesus. And that's what matter. And leave a legacy behind. Tell somebody about Jesus. Love somebody. Share with somebody. The person that is upset with you, go and trash it out. The person mm. that you have not spoken with for a long time. And we're mm. saying in our heart, me no begs with them. But there, we are not talking. Trash it out. Set ourselves in order. May we be ready for the more mambo sano shako rabo side. May we be ready for the day that you call us up. Remind us, God, that you will never tell us when our time is has come. Help us to live right. Help us to walk right. Comfort the hearts of those who are weeping and those who are sighing and groaning and mourning. Comfort her children. Oh God, she would have left a good and godly legacy for them. Help them to stand strong. Help them to stand strong, oh God. Help them to make their mother proud, even in the time of death. Walk with them, God. And if they are not walking with you, God, Teach them how to walk with you that one day in the street by and by we will meet Minister Dylan again. We honor you in all things, God. We are not even saying why. Oh God, but we praise you in all things. We worship you in all things. We worship you in life. We worship you in death, Father. And we mm. give you praise mm. and we mm. give you glory and we give you honor. We worship you, God. We glorify you, God. Thank you for the legacy. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. 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 We worship you, God. I'm an old Sakura. Shakola Mosiana. We worship you, Abba. The giver of life. The poor of sight. The giver of life, we worship you. We worship you. We worship you, God. Hallelujah. 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 Bless God this morning. Hallelujah. 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 God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. My God, thank you. Jesus. Thank you. 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 That they shall be comforted. Thank you for your comfort, mighty God. We thank you for your comfort. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Oh, glory be to God. We continue this morning. Glory be to God. We're going to open up our mic and we're going to pray for our children. Uh, we're going to pray against the spirit of incest for our children, spirit of rape, spirit of kidnap. We're gonna open up our mic and we're gonna pray against the spirit of incest. We're gonna pray, pray against the spirit of rape and kidnap this month. So go open up your mic. We're gonna pray. Open up your mic. We're gonna pray this morning. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Father, we thank you for your presence. My God, I'm you not know, to hear us, God. We don't hear us, God. We can't breathe. 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 We can't breath
Father God, 
and they want to do God cover the parents night but sometimes these are things oh God that they are not supposed to do but Lord take them up this morning in the name of God oh God primary eyes cover colleges my God take control divine God this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Those in the community, my God, those in the homes, take control this morning. Oh God, what we have learned to be mighty God, it will be a part of us so that we can, oh God, manage the children well. Oh God, take control this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Of Lead up to them this morning, God Almighty, as we dedicate this day for our children, mighty God. We leave it all in your care, God Almighty. Teach us how to pray. Show us what to pray about. After this, oh God, fasting is finished, mighty God, and why this fasting is going on, oh God, and mighty parents' vision, fathers' visions, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, take control, God Almighty, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen and amen. I'm in agreement with you further. We heal it further, mighty God, heal it. We heal it. With your blood is morning. Glory be to God. I pray that God has been the Lord, just by the way, you know. Oh, get some of the mic. Glory be to God. We have heard the word this morning. Uh, glory be to God. I have heard the word out to interrupt our children. Glory be to God. You know, so that, you know that so many mothers and fathers, oh God, we cut down our children, we, we call them men. But this morning, I'm encouraging you this morning. In fact, you may be going through a difficult time, a difficult situation. You may be on this platform and you are the father, or you are saying, you are the father, the father, the father, the father, the father. You may be on the platform, you are the father, the father, the father. Don't take all the stress on your children. So many take all the stress on their children. They call them names, but you're not, you're not going to come to nothing. It is not that God. You're not going to, you're working like your sister. You're working like your woman. That is not a God. The Bible says, children who are heritage, 
children are blessing from God. Glory be to God. We are this prayer that I was a preach about more Oh, that the only mother is this um glory be to God, this precious child, this purpose child. Oh God, we, our children are purpose. Our children are purpose. Our children are blessing. And so many times we call our children name. You're not coming with nothing. You're worth it. You're this, you're this, you're a diaper. You, 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 you're old, you're old. And call them all name. Like your children to some animal. Call them from name. This is not of God. Because the Bible said, he created us in his image. And his likeness. Glory be to God. If you call your children a dog or a dream or whatever. The Bible says, God created us in his image and his likeness. Children are a blessing from God. And so many times and our children so many names. Just, just look into his parents. Just look into it. If we are on this platform and I do it, let us stop it. Let us stop it. Let us stop calling our children names. Glory be to God. They will hurt. They will hurt the calling me and the children. Yes. Then father and mother the father and mother of the mother of the glory be to God. Father and the Lightning and the mother of 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 the the mother of the mother of the the my God, we have to continue to pray for our children. Even the very classroom, even the very teachers, sometimes the very teachers taught on our children. We have to pray. We have to continue to pray as they move after school. Because the very teachers, some of the teachers, some of them, because some of them are good teachers, some of them held, even here, a passenger when he was small, he said, Why am I quoting him? He testified, and he testified about it on this platform. Teacher said, the boy, you know, come out to nothing. My God Almighty, you have teacher telling children that they're not coming out to nothing. They're not spending the time with because by the time you have some children, of water, uh, um, but I was, this said this morning, some children is slow from, and from, from father and from, from slow. But I don't say we have to talk down on some children and say you're not coming out to nothing. You are walking tonight, God and might. We let us pray let us continue to pray for our children going to school. Next week is a school, new school term. And we still have to keep our neighbors' children, our children, our neighbors' children, our first family children. Oh, glory be to God and my. I remember the day when I was growing up. Your children and my children. If I see your children doing something, I can't talk to your children. But not now. I don't mind. If, if I talk to your children, your children come back and tell you that I say something. And you're, gonna, you're not going to ask me what it is. You're going to curse. My God, deep as a babe. My God, I don't know what I'm going to hear in during my time when growing up. My God, I'm not going to be a big person passing. I do you know what I'm going to do some stuff. But these children look in your eyes. They got on my skin and do some things. They look in your eyes and they puff some cigarettes. They look in your eyes and they press the word. But we let us pray for them. Let us pray for them. My God, because of Jesus said, May them be finished and it's like this. For his heritage and his blessing from God this morning. And God is good. God, let us pray for the leaders of this group. Let us pray for me to look the first and the other leaders. My God, will come up with this. Oh, God, I'm not seeing this week. We pray for children. We pray for children. God Almighty, bless him from God. We pray for children. My God, because I'm a young man, I call upon you because you're strong. Oh, God Almighty, God is a good God. And we are to praise him. We are to lift him up. Oh God, I will join the family. We are to lift Jesus higher. Higher. Oh mighty God, we come to lift him up this morning. We come to lift up Jesus. We come to lift him up. Oh glory be to God Almighty this morning. And we want to thank you for who he is this morning. We thank you for who we are this morning. Thank you God for who you are this morning. Thank you for your coverage. Oh God, for thank you for covering our children. Thank you for coming true for your children. Lord God Almighty, thank you. Oh God, I'm some person on this platform. 
But come true, God, for your people. Hallelujah. Come true. Come through that man with the and if you're an open door, I come on, open door for your people. Open door for that mother this morning. Open door for that father this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, because that mighty God, we decree to declare this morning. Oh, my God, that mighty call for some different people that you see in behalf. In the name of Jesus Christ, of nothing. Father, we thank you for coming true. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus Christ, now we give your praise. We do so this morning and we honor you. And we glorify you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. God is a good and his word. And let us take from the word this morning. Let us take from the word. Don't let the word go to one ear and come to another. Don't let us be just only be an ear of the word. But also the do what the Bible says. Don't only be an ear. But also a do of the word. We have heard the word. Take something from the word. The word coming like a dish of food. So we have to pick your words. My God, my God, my God, hallelujah. Just remember, oh God, I'm at the one of the Allow our children to choose their own career. Because so many times we want to choose our children's career. We can help them to direct them. But sometimes we want them to be a teacher. We want to be a nurse. And they don't want to be a nurse. They want to be a farmer. They want to be a doctor. But because we are a teacher, we are a nurse, we want to be work in our field. But this morning, I want the children to choose their own career. I want the children to have their say in their career this morning. Have you, have you listened to the word this morning? Haven't you listened to the word? Oh, God, I don't want to be fresh up. My God, to guide us, to protect us, to instruct us. My God, the word. What a word this morning. What a no word. My God, I'm praying to cover them, my God. Uh, cover God and cover them. Oh, God, the rest of the speakers of this room. God is a good God. Ah, God, I'm worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Because we're doing it first. Come and open up the mic and it's got to give God a worship. Open up the mic and give God a praise in the environment. Open up your mic and shout out. Hallelujah. Father, we bless, we pray, we lift you up, we glorify you, we magnify you. My God, because you're worthy to be praised. My God, because you're worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Great by your Lord this morning. Great is thy faith towards us this morning. Thank you. Morning by morning. Your mercies with We give you praise. We give you honor. We thank you for this morning. We thank you for this week. We thank you for this week. We thank you. 
Oh God Almighty, oh God first, the people of the young people. We thank you, God. Yeah. Thank you for people. Oh God, the people of young people before you. Oh God Almighty, we're gonna have the school turn. We thank you, God, that you can come together to pray. Oh God, it's a man of prayer, not sin. And we come to pray. We come to pray for our young people. We come to pray. We thank you for prayer. The prayer that I've been doing. Yeah, man, we thank you, oh God Almighty. We thank you for every prayer that has been prayed from oh God Almighty from yesterday until now. As they put this week, oh God Almighty, for the young people, oh God, those are going back to school. We put them in your hands again. My God, we thank you. We thank you, God, mighty God, in the name of Jesus. We give you honor on behalf of our children. We thank you, Lord. We give you honor on behalf of them this morning. We put them in a tear. We put them in a hand. My God, this morning, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for what you're about to do for these children. We thank you, Lord, for provision for these mothers. Oh God, we thank you for coming to this platform. Oh God, we declare and declare open to us. Oh God, those who we see the books as we make the bag, we come on an open door. We declare and declare open to us. We come on an open heaven. We come on an open heaven. We come on. We decree. We prophesy. I prophesy open heaven this morning. Open the lives of people. Hey, ya baba. We command it that we run up the spirit this morning. Oh God Almighty, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we come down to the living. Plead the blood in the forest and the sea. My God, we plead the blood in the forest and then we can go earthly. We plead the blood in the sky and then we can go in the sky. We plead the blood in the sky and then we can go in the sky. We never miss the sky and we can go in the sky. Sit that you don't have room to contain my Shakoto. I hear you as you say that you will come back to Shake up. No, 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 no. Oh God, I'm a yellow man. I look at all of them. I look at all of them. I look at all of them. Oh God, the baker's the cake. Oh God, I'm not going to make my son to eat and die. But I come to let you know this morning. Come back this morning. Not a few. God. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a few. Hey, God Almighty, this morning. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah! Oh, we bless your name. We bless your name. We bless your name. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we thank you. We thank you this morning for coming true for us. We thank you this morning. Oh God Almighty, we thank you. Oh, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. In Jesus' mighty name. You can put your hands together. Put your hands above your head wherever you are, and give the Lord a clap of praise. I open up your mouth and shout, Hallelujah! Oh, give him a clap of hallelujah! My God, hey God, deserve our worship and our praise this morning. Oh God Almighty, Ali, we cannot, we cannot afford the rock to worship God in peace. We cannot allow the rocks or the trees or the to worship God in us. And so this morning we give our worship and honor and praise. Oh, hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus Christ. We give our testimony this morning. All that I've done. Oh, God, oh, God, I've come true for you. We give our testimony on the platform this morning. Oh, God, I've come true for you. Oh, God, I've come true for you. Children, we never see any money. Oh, God, come true. My 
God, if you're a testimony, we tell the goodness, we overcome by your testimony and the blood of the Lamb. They'll come and open the mic of your testimony and testify how good, good God is to you. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Um, good morning again, everyone. Morning, Faith Walk. Um, Stan, my dear, is a young man that is listening at this time. I just want to offer up prayer for him. Um, his name is Nick. Um, Nick, you're hearing us um, at this time. We're going to offer a prayer for you. Um, we know what you're going through, but um, uh, since I've heard, we don't, don't understand it fully, but I know a God that can change. Come on. I know a God that I can shift the very atmosphere. I know right, a God yeah. that is well able to, to, to change whatever the enemy placed on you. I know a God that can turn things around. I God want the people yeah. of God. His name is Nick and he is living in the Cayman Island. And we, I know the demons right, that are over here. I no, have he's been in, no, he's in Canada. I, oh, he's in yeah. Canada. Well, yes. um, so, but he's listening, right? Yes, he's in Canada. Right. So he's there now, and we're going to pray for him. And we're going to pray that the Lord will take control. Many times when purpose is on their lives, you know, this is what the enemy wants to do, to yeah. shift the focus. I oftentimes say to the young people, the devil don't want him. Not, those that he has already, he doesn't trouble them. But the purpose, those who are purpose those are the person that he wants to to kill and steal and to destroy but faith work i know that you know i always say we are like an um antsness when you touch some things um our persons for us we have to come out but this morning we pray that the lord will deliver sit down the lord will deliver i pray that the lord will show up in his life i pray that the lord will shift the oh yeah. i don't know what dark lord i the moment i got the message i I just see a dark cloud, but I believe I the Lord this morning for a ship in the name of of the Jesus, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, every darkness that is placing that I place God. on him this morning in the name Jesus. of Jesus Christ Jesus. of Nazareth, everything that's trying to stop him in the name oh, of God. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we come against you in the mighty in the name, name of, of Jesus. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, mighty God, every setup, every road block, every road trap oh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, cancel them. We said the blood of Jesus oh, again those spirits in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth the enemy comes to steal and to destroy God's oh. plan but in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I stand with the authority that was given to me by Almighty God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and I call on the name of Jesus if God can fix it it can be fixed and not in the name of Jesus you fix Nick's condition in the name yes. of Jesus. Every spirit that was set for him in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, we stop them on. in their tracks right now yes, and we Lord. pray fire on them in the name of Jesus fire. Christ. Fire. That will put fear on him right now. We oh, bind you yes, you spirit of fear. You, you spread of confusion. We bind you now in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that is the man. Every mind, oh God, killer, every mind, keep. We bind you up in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We say, agony now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So let's go over on the other side. And on the other side, there was demon that was waiting. Oh God Almighty, oh God, on you, there was a man. We lead you, my God, and you yeah. did it, my God. So we call on you, God Almighty. In the name of Jesus. We are on this side this morning, my God. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. If it's in, oh God, oh God, what yes, has Lord. them done? 
to, to drown. Let them come out in the name of Jesus. We die now, you spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ. We should die now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Nick, you shall be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Nick, you yes, shall be Lord. free in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And the enemies be scattered concerning yes, you in the name of Jesus Christ yes, of Nazareth. And we said in the name of Jesus, pay to us. We're going to unmute the blood. We're going to unmute the We said the blood of Jesus seven yes. times. Yes. You know, yes. the other person that said the blood don't work, you know. But I yes. might yes. the blood. Yes. Yes. The blood yes. in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you recognize that you have given him in power for the world, but the power from Almighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God, you say, when I see the blood, I will pass, and Lord, Come on now, Holy Spirit, yes, Holy Spirit, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus, this morning, oh God, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus, in the realm, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, everything that wants to confuse this man, oh God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the queen, the queen, the queen, the queen chamber, hallelujah, 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 Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Nick will turn around, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, 
to this morning they come true in the name of Jesus oh God yesterday we are praying for men oh yeah God almighty and children oh God almighty this person mighty God Lord God you form him into his mother's womb and you said you knew him God almighty you knew him then and you know him now oh God almighty we wrote his life in the name yes, of God. Jesus Take control even now, God Almighty. Let me testify of your goodness, mighty God. Let me testify of your grace. Mighty God, let me testify of your goodness, mighty God, and of your favor, and that you're a miracle working God. Mighty God, have your way even now in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son. Nika here, come down. Nika here, come down. Nika here, come down. Come down, 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 Nick. Come down. Come down. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Nick, come down in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God Almighty, take control. Let this prayer not be in vain. In the name of Jesus, yes, take control. Even now, God Almighty, things we fail to ask, oh God Almighty, and not seen in the realm. Show us, mighty God, and show Him, mighty God. Let Him see you, God, this morning. In yes. the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. 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 He's on this morning, lady, lady, lady Lisa. Where is he? Jesus. Where is the queen now? Yes, he's online. His mom said that he's online. On on Faith Walk online or your online? What where? No, no, he's on Faith Walk. She sent. I sent her the link, and she sent the link to him. Nick, are you here? Are you here? Hala bosha da de bista na nama. Nick, are you here? Mommy, are you here? Yes, um, I'm here. I'm here. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, uh, can you just tell me um, his age, please? He's 23 years old. Yes, sir, God. Yes. yes, I'm hearing oh, you, you guys. Are... I'm, I'm hearing you when guys. I when i see the hands going up i was like this must be him because i see you are the one applauding right he's online he's online minister let's i just yes. hear him i heard him i heard him nick in the name of jesus christ of nazareth nick i want you to close your eyes at this time close your eyes mighty god mighty god <laughs> mighty god i want seven persons on faith walk to place their hands and i want you to indicate if you're doing this at this time i want nick to close his eyes and i want seven person to close their eyes and i want you to place their hands over your eyes hallelujah we're gonna form a circle around him and we're gonna place our hands on him this morning hallelujah seven person will be the first one seven person Hallelujah. Two, three, four, five, six. Hallelujah. I don't know if I'm counting well because some persons already had their hands up. I am on. Seven. I am on. Okay. I am on. Hallelujah. Unmute your mic. Unmute your mic for the seven persons, please. Thank you, Lady Tasha. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Lady Jennifer. Thank you, Lady Judith. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Lady Valerie. Thank you, Lady um, Anne Marie. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I want you to, Nick, I want you to close your eyes. And people of God, those who um, were uh, the server person, I want you just to place their hands over your eyes completely, both of them. And I want you to close your eyes. 
rise for your intercessors at this time. And I want you to just vision it. We don't know it, but I want you to vision this young man. Get in the spirit, get in the realm. There is nothing that our God can do. Hallelujah. There is no distance in prayer. And we locate him even now in the spirit. We surround you.
is he will he receive it if he understand it's only me see what 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 we go to now what happened to me when it, um when did you start to um <clears throat> start this going through this it's, um, in, 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 uh, like Tuesday, since Tuesday, like Tuesday. From uh, whom? Yeah. From your house. I see God. What, what did you say that you want the Lord to do for you? Del deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me. I, I yes. know the, what, the battle is not over. They know the fight is not over. I'm just asking for deliverance completely. Deliverance. The, from, the enemy. Who, from who? From who, Nick? Who do you want deliverance from? From God. From God. From God. Say it again. Who you want deliverance from? From God. From God. Say, no God, one. I want you to deliver me. Say, God, I want you to deliver me. God, I want you to deliver me. Say it again, Nick. God, I want you to deliver me. Say it again. God, I want you to deliver me. Deliver him, Jesus, in your hands, mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God. Right now, and the way I was acting a few days ago, I know they think, oh, I probably, I'm probably crazy in the head. I'm, I'm crazy, but it's just the how, how I felt, felt, and and Friday and Saturday, I feel like I'm losing memory about every little thing. I couldn't even remember that my favorite team was playing. I couldn't even remember that. So I mean, no, I said, it's something, something, something was wrong. So only me alone and me God know that something was really wrong with me. Because me never feel like that he never in my life before me have that feeling. It's where we can remember form of nothing. And it's not until the people of God because they took him no, to the doctor's Lord. So they won't even think about that. Mighty oh, God. <clears throat> Mighty God. But God this morning. And a lot of person online, they are listening and they are believing God for you. Nick, they are believing the Lord for you. I, 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 I know, I know. That's why I, I, I say I'm going to reach out to my grandmother, my mother, my grandfather, Christian people who don't truly understand this type of stuff that this is not. No, no, no. No, man, just not going to get up and act like this. You know? And Minister let um, Nick Wayne once walk with God. So Nick Wayne knows the power of God. I know, I know, I, I know God for myself. Yes. So, so it's not like say I don't know God for myself. And God now nah, God was make me, me then I can't trust mine and then make me start to act a certain way and start to the, the devil was all for me. I know. No one can tell me nothing. I no 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 one can tell me nothing. I know what I know that the devil was all for me. It's oh, not. And it, and it <laughs> one of the things is that we, you um, find your way. But I know you know. I know you know it already, and it's a fight. I know that for sure. Because you know, it's not like I, I. I. I'm not gonna act as if I don't have young people around me, people of God, yeah. and um, and say, just find your way back. You know what I mean? No. Because sometimes we as Christians, <laughs> we are, we, we too, you know what I mean, Lady Lisa, we yes. too like that. Like but it would be so, as easy as that. This is, as this is the second time. This is the second time I've come under the attack of the enemy since I'm here. And, and, and God helped me to bring me through. This is not the first. This is the second time I um, feel it and I um, mean, um, no. What God can do for me. I mean, I always, yeah. I mean, I always want to go back to church. I always want to go back to church. But, you know, when when the day is a certain environment, it's just, it, 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 you know, it's just yeah. hard for you to, 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 to really go back to God. So, Somebody is here to help you, Nick. And um, I'm here to help you, and a lot of persons are here to help you. Right, and uh, I'm in Jamaica, but I'm 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 holding your hands in the rim. I'm holding your hands in the rim. 
And you know, yeah. I heard I, when I was praying, I heard come down, and it brought me back to the story with Zacchaeus. He was up high to see Jesus, but not mm. when he he saw him, but he came down and he got a hold of him, and he said, "Come, we come, we're gonna go to your house, and we're gonna have to." You know, a lot of persons like us Christians, we were the one who were saying, "What, Jesus, a God, this a man in a yard." But yes. I believe the Lord that He's coming to your house this morning. He's there yes. already. He yes. is there already. And yes, I want God to go and have meal with you this morning. Hallelujah. Saying, yes, God. Let me hear your God, Nikki. And I know many persons yes. are saying that on the line yes. this morning. We are going to your house, Nick, oh. and we're going yes. to have meal with you this morning. I am in, in Jamaica. I'm holding your hand. I'm not going to act like everybody is saving my family. No. I'm not going to come up here. Man. You, you piggy, you need to get. No, I'm not going to do that this morning. Nick, I am holding your hand, and the step that you're taking, I'm taking that one little step with you. I am taking it too. To Aunt Lisa is taking it. Aunt Lisa is taking it, Nick. Amen, amen. I am praying with you. Amen, amen. And I'm that's why. You're that's why. That's why. I, that's why I reach out. That's why I try to reach out to the church, reach out to everyone, because I know for myself what I've been through and what could have happened and what and every little thing. I just had to just reach out to you guys because I know prayer, prayer beats everything, prayer conquers mm. everything. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Amen. 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 As, you know, God God been speaking to me in all type of different way over the months then. Because even one time I was at the house and some some Jehovah Witness people come and they 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 you know, they, they, they encouraging me to so come to church, just come on Sunday, just come see what's going on. So it's not like God hasn't been calling me to come. But you know, sometimes when you just stuck in your ways and uh, and we as a young generation don't you know we become like the devil is just using us to 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 to, to do all type of manner of evil, all type of manner of evil stuff and not pertaining to God. So it's not like say, but you know, no, no, I've seen it for myself that, you know, only person you need in this life is God. Hallelujah. Only Amen. person you need is God. Amen. Bless the Lord. When, when Jesus oh. having, has have his 12 disciples and they all turn their back on him and he was alone. And I don't, and I don't mind being, being like Jesus. I don't mind. I don't, I don't mind. I don't mind being like Jesus. I don't need nobody but myself. I don't I don't care what no one says. I don't care what I do I don't. Because in this life sometimes all you need is yourself, is yourself to trust and believe in God. Believe in God. Because I'm I'm here when I just come here, the nurses then they treat me they I see they treat me a certain type of way. They treat me like I'm crazy. They treat me like I'm like I'm nothing. Like I, and, and I always wonder like why 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 are they like this towards me when they don't even know, don't really know my story. They don't even understand my, what I really go through. You cannot be judging a person based on how any little thing or any thing what anyone says about them. Hallelujah. But I believe in God and me reach out to me reach out to people who know say so can help me deliver this. This me alone cannot cannot fight off this battle. I I I need I, I need people that been in the church for years, grew up in church for years, that know God for themselves. I know God for myself, but not to a certain extent. In you know, but I still know him for myself because you know. I was a, I have been baptized and I, and I, 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 and then I, you know, I backslide and, and and stuff like that. But no one is perfect. But you know, we can always turn our life around and make it right with God. Yes. That's just how I feel. And and, yeah. and yeah. no, and just this is just no. Um, the, everything is just an eye opener for, for me. If you just say, hey, right. the only That's person right. you need is God. Is God. Is God. 
and I wish and I wish my friends that I have back home would take a page out of my book and trust and believe in God more. But remember, I have a testimony that I can share for generations and generations and generations because Hallelujah. I know what I've been through and I know and I feel and I feel it. I'm, I'm already feeling the deliverance by God and work's not yet done. But we will continue to have the faith and we will continue to pray and we will continue to, to believe in God. We continue to believe in His work. Is your mother still alive? Huh? Your mother is still alive? Lisa, are you online? Oh, yes, Lisa. I'm still on the line, but I'm at work, so I, I, I have to turn off the mic because so I'm working. And yeah, that's it, it's like a busy time for me. No, it's um, no, you were the one who came on very early this morning. I just wanted, really wanted to see who the person is. Yes, I did came on early, but I was on my way, um, driving to work, so um, the signal was kind of poor. Okay, okay. And right. same, the same exact thing that, that, that you guys said that you share your, your, your dreams with, with, with people and they don't want you to achieve your, your, your dream or achieve mm -hmm. anything. It's the same, it's the same thing. It's the same thing that, 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 that was being said. It's the same thing that was, that was said to me. So I know that God is working and I know it. And I know yeah, thing that God is delivering. Okay. I will continue to, to believe and, and have faith and have faith in God. And whatever whatever be, be, uh, be the outcome, uh, yeah. I will continue to have faith in God. Hallelujah. Go ahead, Sister Jennifer. Remember, it's a day, um, Sister Judith, sorry. It's a day of prayer and fasting, and we're going to end it on um, over with Sister Lisa later on. Lisa Ailey, Sister Ailey, we're going to end it at one o'clock with you later. So go ahead and, and um, say what you, you were going to say, Sister Judith. Okay, um, okay, so, uh, okay I, I have to say it fast because I'm somewhere at work. You know, um, Nick, I want to encourage Nick. <laughs> And I just pray against that spirit because I don't know he's in Canada. I'm in Canada. I have a son too, and he go through some stuff this week that I never. And I know he has a calling on his life, and he have a great fighting. And I, I'm encouraging. You. And one thing because um the other day that we before last he was wanting something, and I was on fasting. My son and I get up off of my knee, and I I the Holy Spirit told me tell him to wait. You understand? And 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 exactly what the Holy Spirit came to, to wait about things happen just like that just. And I said, this is what the Holy Spirit is telling you to wear. He goes through some stuff. They say, you never go through this. Never. He's not a drug. He's not a nothing. And I know he have a bite calling up on his life. And I encourage, and God talk to him all the time. And I'm encouraging Nick to obey God because it's a spirit that is going around. Those that are all are, are mandate and mark for the Lord, whatever, find yourself in a church. And you know, I applaud you for coming this line as a young man this morning. I applaud you. This is the beginning, and I applaud you. I don't know where in Canada you are. I'm in Canada, but I'm praying for you, Nick. I'm asking you to surrender your life to God because I'm, and you know, all you I'm asking you guys to pray for my son Orlando because he goes through a miss this week, the same, and he loved the Lord. He will he will fight anybody for God. You can't speak bad about God. And I see what he's going through. I know it's the enemy, it's a spirit that has let loose, and those that are marked for God. And that's all awesome. I'm wanting to say to you. I thank God for this parallel parallel line. Thank you for finding your place on this prayer line this morning, Nick. And I want to tell you, obey God. Because if you don't obey God, whatever it is, it will arise higher. Go to church. You don't have to be perfect every day. Go and present yourself before God. And he will do the um, rest. Since I've been here for like five years, I've never been to a church. I'm telling you guys the truth. I never ever been to a church since I've been here for five years. I don't know where in Canada you are. I'm I'm living in the Durham region. Oh, Durham, that's not 
I wish I could get your number, but I don't know. I I, I don't um I, I, I don't know, but I maybe can have a look to but sister or lady faith about that. Yeah, you have to go that you have to the spirit is going around and you have to connect with God. Praise God. Amen. Yes, um yeah, yeah, we'll we'll do the link um later on, um, Sister Judith. Um, Sister Judith, I don't think I have your number because you're not in the faith walk of the group. Okay, okay, yeah, you know, this morning I said no, I have to I want to give this morning when they were pregnant, I said no, I want to connect with you to give her my number. I, I can give you my number. You, or you want me to put it in the link or you want me to just you can give it, I'll give it to you. Right? you have a pen. Just a minute. I'm gonna send the link to your to the group now. So for persons who are here, okay, they can join um, in also. Okay, you know what? Um Lady Faith, I'm I won't able to go on the link now because of something busy. Um, okay. um do you want to do it tomorrow? I'm be I'll be on tomorrow, something like that. Oh I could give it to you. No problem. You, you can get my number. My number is two eight eight four five five nine. I give it okay hold a bit. Sorry, I'm really sorry. It just because of some emergency second. What's the number? Your number? Just a minute. Two eight 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 seven nine eight eight seven six two eight eight four five nine. No, 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 I didn't get that. So say that again. Sorry, I'm coming just a minute. Don't send it in the group. Just send it in the group. Okay. Okay, right, then I'll, I I try to check the um, I can't do that now because of reason. Okay, yeah. I I can check. That's not because of reason, but I just a minute. Let me see if I see it. I I check. That's the minute. Uh, I'm busy doing something. Uh, two eight eight. Okay, I see. It. Okay, I see. It. Eight seven eight seven six. Okay. Eight seven six two eight. Okay. Oh. Oh, sister Judith, you are pastor. Um, pastor, right? Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, that's uh, 45, 45, 59. Okay, I'll, I'll give you a call. Okay, fine. I'll give you a call. I got it. Okay. 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 All right, um, Pastor Fenton. Bless the Lord. So we continue. Sister Anne Marie? I think we continue. Continue. Yeah. We're going to continue with four. We're going to continue with four. And uh, I'll be time before it occurs in that atmosphere. So we're going to continue to have a choice. Then put it in the chat and then speak in request. Mr. Lake, yeah, I want to do a request. While I want you to speak in and come to me, you continue. Uh, if you have a request, you can open the mic and type the request or you can put it in the chat. At this time, we're going to continue to serve. We're not going to. In the spoken request, I put in the chat. Let's see. I'm going to have a request this morning. I want to pray for my daughter. She's going back to the end of the Oh, good morning. My request is for. Uh, no. Unity or in a relationship with a husband and a wife, you know, better understanding, you know, for them that they will see eye to eye and then things will work a little bit better, you know, because I don't know what happened, everything was good, and then all of a sudden, um, the teacher are not working. Anna, it's Anna now, Anna now. So, uh, requesting prayer for my sons, Andre and Anne Marie and Alex and Samuel. For them and their wife. And for the people work to come through Jesus' name. I have another request. A young lady in here, um, the doctor told me that she has a kidney failure. That's in the poor house of her church. Our name is Shana. Any more? Good morning. 
My request is for my nephew, Damian Bernal. He's going through anxiety attack. Oh my God. Yes. Good morning, everyone. Hello. Morning. Oh, good good morning. morning. I didn't know anyone was hearing me. Um, I'm asking for prayer for my kids. Um, my oldest, she she did her her CXCs, but you know they didn't come out with the best results. So I know for sure that you know you have to put in the work in order to get what you what you the highest mark or the higher mark. She's disappointed in herself, but I you know I want. I'm asking for prayer that you know God would help her to know that even though she didn't get the highest, she does not have to give up, but she can always push forward. But next time to you know do 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 her not say her best, but go harder and to do more. So for her and for my other kids as well, just prayer. I know that God has been protecting them and providing for them, but also I want him to continue to show them that he is and will always be God, you know, in their lives, around them, you know, with people who are, who are there with them, and to not just show them, but to also help them to minister to others about the goodness that he has done in their life. For Gawain, um, my spouse, he too, I need for him, and I'm, I'm sure God needs him to fully commit himself to him, you know, for us to do God's will, to minister to others, and just to do what God wants us to do on this earth, his paperwork, and, you know, that's, that's just about it, as I just continue to, to see his goodness. Because I may see it, but others may not see it, or he may not see it, but I see what God has been doing and what he has in store. So just to continue to praise him and thank him for good and for bad, and just know that everything that comes, whether it be what we want, what God wants, what we think is not good for us, but it is because it is God's will. So just continue to keep us all in prayer. That's it. Thank you so much. Good morning, everybody. Um, I just want to report that I am out of surgery. Everything went well. And um, I just want to pray. Um, I just want coverage over my children that they'll find um, a good Bible-based church, even though they're not with me and that God will provide and set it up strategically where they can um, go into a setting and know God and understand God from early. So that is my prayer and to protect them because both, both have started school in another state and, you know, just to cover them and continue to be with them and also prayer for my nieces and nephews all over the world and my friends thank you good morning i'm requesting prayer for myself and my children and my mother just the strength of us keep on keep the faith keep on going thank you amen Any more? Mr. Lake, you take up the thing. I'm asking for prayer for my husband to fully surrender to God. He is not fully surrendered, you know. So I'm asking for prayer. Minister Lake. Bless the Lord, I'm here, I'm here, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord. There is nothing that he can't do. 
Hallelujah. With God, all things are possible. Mighty God, with him, all things are possible. Hallelujah. Salvation. Hallelujah. We request for spouse. My God can. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whatever the situation is, a church for the children and for the children to be in perfect peace and, you know, um, be happy. God can do it surgery god can do it hallelujah he can he can this morning it's just our faith that we need to lift our feet up this morning or yeah god can or god can lady kedana your request god can lady um kid um kadian your request god can this morning lady lisa god can this morning lady Anne marie god can lady frenchon god can this morning lady fisher god can this morning god is well able he has done it over and over and over again and he's well able to do it again hallelujah hallelujah you may not know how you may not know when but he'll do it again he'll do it again for you he'll do it again just take a look at where you are now and where you have been he always come through for you he's the same now as then don't you know god has not changed you may not know how you may not know when but he'll do it again and he'll do it again Hallelujah. Just take a look at where you are, where now. You are now and where you will. Hasn't he always come through for you? He's the same now as then. Don't you know God has not changed? You may not know how. You may not know when. But he will do it again. It took my mother. 23 years to give back her life to the lord to surrender her back her life to the lord god can do it again for those persons who are on who are praying for spouse praying for the family member to get saved god can do it again he did it for me and he will do it for you he's a god of yesterday he's a god of today he'll never change there is nothing that is hard for your god heavenly father the god of possibility the god who changed the god who turned things around the god that cut the god that root up the god that souls god almighty the god that called things into being the god that stopped mighty god i call on you this morning the god who sent rain the god who sent fire mighty god what a god you are the god that when we are broken he put us back to together again the god that if we want something to break he is able to break it we call on you this morning god the god who knows our heart desire the god who reads mind the god of compassion the god almighty god who change the god of oh god of love of peace i call on you this morning our creator the god almighty god who sustain the god that so that saves souls mighty god the god that pulls out oh god almighty the god oh god almighty god that heals our heart i call on you this morning if we oh, need yeah, anything yeah. from you god almighty you are the god oh god almighty we can depend on mighty god the god that never change mighty god here we are this morning your people saying that we are faith walk because we believe in your name god almighty we are calling on you this morning mighty god 
we are walking by faith and not by the situations around us mighty God we are calling on you this morning because you are the God who answer by fire you are the God of suddenly this morning you are the God almighty God that shift this morning and we are calling on you because there are some situations that are placed yeah. in the altar and that was spoken that leaves your hand to touch mighty God there are some situations that are broken and we are calling on you this morning for you to deal with them God almighty oh father I call on you this morning because I have no other daddy oh to call on there is no other Jehovah Jireh to call on there is no other Jehovah Nissi to call on there is no Shalom to call on God almighty we call on you because there is no other Yahweh to call on this morning divine God you are God that never changed and here is Lady K okay that a situation mighty God fix Lady Christine situation God fix Lady KDN situation God fix this morning Lady Anne Marie God Almighty those persons who met in the accident mighty God we call it in you God Almighty to put both together everything that was lost mighty God you are well able to fix mighty God the God who called but blood into place mighty God what a God you are we pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth even when the doctors are trying to, to fix and tell lies the time but you are the God that never lies mighty God I pray for healing in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth oh God Almighty oh cancer can evil oh God Almighty God come up to your level mighty God HIV can come up to your level my great and they can come up to your level because you're bigger than this mighty God and we are calling on you even now mighty God to come through for your people in the name of Jesus let cancer fall even now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth let diabetes fall to the ground even now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, mighty God, I pray for spouses who are not saved. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, my God, show up on their own today. In the name of Jesus Christ, touch their hearts in a special way. In the name of Jesus Christ, change their mindset, mighty God. In the name of Jesus Christ, my God, a lot of times there were words that were spoken over the their lives on church hurt mighty God I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you God will touch that heart my God some of them hearts are broken because of church my God they can't even accept you as their personal Lord and said because of church folks oh Lord God Almighty I pray for a turnaround a mindset to change in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I I pray that they will learn to forgive oh God and let go in the name of Jesus because they are better before my God Almighty I pray that they will look up oh God to where their help coming from and Lord they will know that their help coming from you this morning in the name of Jesus heard the situation around we call him brother Dawkins we call him brother Gawain my God, I pray for a shift even now in the name of Jesus. I pray divine God for other spouses in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray this morning, divine God, that you save them for your kingdom. Oh God, no man come unless the Holy Spirit pulls. This morning, Holy Spirit, I pray that you pull in the name of Jesus Christ. Divine God, here we are this morning mighty God for Lady Sharon Monroe's request mighty God your daughter has been calling on you and you're a God that never change mighty yes, God I pray in the name of Jesus that you rescue your daughter this morning there is nothing 
that is hard for our God to do. And divine God, this morning I pray that you soap, oh God, for a request. Mighty God, you remember, even when we don't remember, you know when she pray, even when we don't hear, you hear God Almighty. You are the God that heals. I pray that you heal your daughter. I pray that you touch her son. I pray that you visit her family in the name of Jesus. Give this woman strength. I'm sweet in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray, God Almighty, that you place your blood in her. My God, and let others know, oh God Almighty, that your daughter, oh God, has get her healed. My God, we come against every spirit and every mouth that speak. Now I'm going away. Oh, no, I make it over this woman's life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we quiet you. We shut your mouth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, my God Almighty, because this woman will recover. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God Almighty, here we are this morning. Mighty God, for Lady Verona's father, my God Almighty, I pray this morning that you take control in the name of Jesus Christ, Lady Christine, children, mighty God, take control in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth this morning, divine God, you have done it before, Lady Tashana Richards, oh, oh. God Almighty, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that you, God Almighty, will touch those teenagers, oh, God, I'm broken heart. Heart. Mighty God, who are struggling. Oh God Almighty, I pray in the name of Jesus for strength for them. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm not a God Almighty Lady Green's request. Her daughter, oh God Almighty, I place her in your hands this morning. And her son, in the name of Jesus Christ, divine God, pray for the kids. Oh God Almighty, the children of God Almighty, in your hands this morning, your people will testify. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lady Fisher and her husband, my God, it was on this line that what prayer was offered up to them, for them almighty God, and we believe that you are the God then, and you are the God now, mighty God, you know their heart, this desire this morning, take control in the name of Jesus Christ this morning, God, mighty God, her mother, and her husband, mighty God, her mother, her mother, her mother, we pray that you touch her right now from the crown of her head to the very sole of her feet. We are sicknesses, mighty God, this morning. I pray that you remove sickness and give the woman strength. Oh. Mighty God, I pray in the name of Jesus that you, God Almighty, will take control. You are our healer and mighty God, we are depending on you this morning. My God, I place Joel in your hands. My God, there is no satisfaction without salvation. And mighty God, I pray that you turn things around in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mighty God, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that Lord God Almighty, something not right, I request because there's unspoken. My God Almighty, but Lord, you know the desire of your people's heart this morning. Lord God Almighty, and I place them before you. Oh God, every broken home. My God, I pray that you soak today in the name of Jesus Christ. Mighty God, I only can call on your name and depend on you. Lord God, you're a God that never change. Mighty God, let your people testify. Oh God, of your goodness, of your grace, and how oh, you have come through for them. My God, I pray in the name of Jesus that you silence the very plan of the enemy. Oh God, every attack this morning. Oh God, over the children, we pray that you silence them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We come against every untimely death in the name of Jesus Christ and that's when the enemy comes to steal and destroy but oh God Almighty even now God Almighty I pray that you show up in a supernatural way mighty God I pray divine God for those who are under darkness send forth the light in the name of Jesus I pray God Almighty that those the enemy bury I pray divine God that they will go on top of their graves in the name of Jesus every 
every grave close. Oh God, will fall off even now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, my God, I pray, divine God, that you allow healing to take place on this platform even now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, mighty God, oh God Almighty, some most very some people, but Lord God Almighty, we come against that. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray that your people will arise in this season. In the name of Jesus Christ, teachers will arise. Oh God, pastors will arise. Oh God, members will arise. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God, every dead word that was spoken over your people, God Almighty, we say light this morning. Hallelujah. Every dead word that was spoken over them, oh God Almighty, not to pass their exam, oh God, and for them to be the worst. We say life, oh God Almighty, we put you in front this morning in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Divine God, take control in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord God, you have done it before and you're well able to do it again. Let your people arise, oh God Almighty. The enemy wants to laugh, but let the enemy look up mighty god and see them above mighty god in the name of jesus christ we call for some oh god scholarship on this line in the name of jesus for your people in the name of jesus lose what those belong in canada lose those that belongs in jamaica lose oh. those for england you lose those in the u.s in the name of jesus christ this morning mighty god we say scholarship in high school scholarship in primary school we say scholarship in university Oh God and colleges in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every good for nothing spirit that is on these children, come off, let them go in the name of in Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name Mighty of God, Jesus. That is on these children. We break them this morning. Hey, God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, every community curse, my God Great Almighty. Great this morning. Jesus. Yes, yes, in the name Great of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Great in the name of Jesus. Every tree planted, oh God, every battle rock or dorobo sadaba nina no noma de rage duba medebo. Every tree, mighty God, oh God Almighty, that name of our very thunder. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, oh God Almighty, pulled over, oh God, set forth a woman, mighty God, to root that tree. In the name of Jesus Christ, we may sit by a In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, mighty God, and I pray that your people will come in this season. Oh God Almighty, every clarin dan sadadaba. Mm -hmm. Burial spirit, mighty God, in the name of Jesus. I hear Clarendon bury my yana mama, bury alive. I hear teeth and away clothes. Ah, baba ko to the rebe go to the nana man. I don't even know. Na second of us, but who to second of us? La de 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 over your blood this morning. Give our hands to this morning, Jehovah God. 
to the very soul of her feet this morning. Cover, cover, cover. Blood coverage. Blood coverage. In the name of Jesus, we say, I take back your mind this morning. Hey, God Almighty, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, you start off good, you shall complete it. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in the name of Jesus, my God. God Almighty, let your people arise in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God Almighty, we call up for you to soap in the 14 parishes of Jamaica this morning. Wherever your people are this morning, let somebody come back tomorrow morning testifying. Oh, God Almighty, for a ship in their family in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh God Almighty, some father's mind will change in this season. Some fathers who weren't doing nothing last year, their minds are going to change in this season. In the name of Jesus. Don't worry, Mama. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh God Almighty, all we need to do is believe. In the name of Jesus, they will not suffer. Every step, Mother, not no boy. That is holding, oh God Almighty, that woman's child. Because you want years alone to come out to something good. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray for a change of mind. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, give her peace. My God Almighty, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that Lord, you will show up in that home in the name of Jesus this morning. My God, I pray this morning that you take control in the name of jesus let your people arise in this season let your young people arise the children arise the schools the teachers the principal my god i place them before you oh god almighty i pray that you wash their hands their mind their souls and their body we pray that you change them in the name of jesus this morning my god almighty some teachers are not right some principals are not right oh god those who sell Oh God, oh dear, oh God Almighty, at the gate sometimes, my God, they come to see and destroy. But this year, it shall be a change because we're going to ship you. Oh God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ, give our children eyes to see, spiritualize, spiritualize. Mighty God, oh God, they planted it in the sweet. Oh God, even the money, oh God, even the pencil that they sell, even the books that they sell on the outside. But I see the blood of Jesus around every school this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Of Nazareth, we clean up every school, we clean up every schoolyard. Oh God Almighty, in the name of Jesus, I enter down there in Zion Hill Primary and I say, God Almighty, let pure, oh God, pure, oh God Almighty, I go over there in Chilani and I say pure, I say Christian pure, I say high school pure, I say college is pure, even those that send in the Chinese store, mighty God Almighty, I locate them this morning and I say fire to those stores and I say fire to those camps in the name of Jesus Christ this morning, God Almighty. Hey, God. I pray that in this season, your people will come to their right mind. Oh, God Almighty, pastors will come to their right mind. 
by God, ministers, evangelists, by God, mothers will come in their right mind in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mighty God, we will walk according to your will and not according to what we think or know, God Almighty, but according to your will. Lord, push us to where you want us to be in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth this morning. God, and we glorify your name and we tell you thanks for what you already done and what you're about to do in Jesus' name. Thank you, Abba Father. We seal it with you. Thank you this morning. We say thank you, Holy Ghost, for praying for us on this line. We pray that you seal every prayer from five o'clock until now. My God Almighty. And I pray that you fight for your people. And I pray that these prayers will not go in vain. Everything that was said on this line will not be in vain in the name of Jesus. Lord God, take control. We leave everything in your care this morning. We rest upon you, God Almighty, and at our own understanding. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son. So, oh, Lord God, as so you showed up for Lazarus, so oh, God Almighty, as so you showed up for Anna, Lord, so oh, God Almighty, as so you showed up for Esther, Lord, so oh, God Almighty, as so you showed up for Sarah, Lord, so oh, God Almighty, as so you showed up for those who were hungry and you fed them, my God. So this morning for a broken family in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, take control, God Almighty, as you leave everything in your care in Jesus' name, Amen. And amen. And amen. 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 Mighty God, I put them on servant before you. Mighty God, I decree and declare blood coverage over her as she has prayed, as she has poured out, as she has poured out, as she has poured back in her even now. Mighty God, I come against the backlash. My God, cover us and cover our room even now in the name of Jesus. We declare and declare comfort blood coverage. Over her and her environment, the command for protective divine protection of your own servant. Even now, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the government on this platform this morning. We thank you for your people, for your friends, your people that they have come to the day and this asking. Oh, God Almighty, we thank you for the youth, the children. We thank you, God Almighty, that we to leave this platform. Oh, God Almighty, that we have covered us for the rest of the day. Oh, God Almighty, seal us with your blood in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Amen. 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 I, I, it, Lady Anne Marie, there is just this. I don't know if the person is still on, but there is somebody that is online. You keep on dreaming that you're getting a stick, like a needle or something. Somebody to stick in you. Online is there? Is that person online? Somebody sticking you in your dream? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God. I pray that when these dreams come, you will be in your right mind. And there is also this person, I don't know if the person knows from this. God, there are people who are thinking about each other. Like that, you know, God, my God, my God. I pray you come and in your right mind, you'll see the name of Jesus Christ, you will also it's breaking up. Didn't hear so clearly. I don't know if anybody can put it out in his family. No. Okay. Mighty God, mighty God. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, are you hearing me now? Yes. Yeah, yes. 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 Okay, I, I was, I don't know for you, Mitch, but I was saying that there are some persons, I don't know if the person left already, but there are persons online that are dreaming about their eating in their sleep, and also they're getting stick, like a, like somebody sticking them in their dream, like a joke or something like that in their in their dream. I don't know if it's a stick or, or an injection in their dream. I don't know if the person is here. 
I, I was left the room open for that person to answer. That person is not here, but we are still going to pray because it has to do with somebody from Faith Walk. But even now, in the name. Everything, mighty God, that your daughter swallowed. In her dream, Marco to the Ketura. Up and out, Taya Makotosa, before the day and Nano Kutala Bakotuti, Lada de Kendurbo, every sickness that your daughter has been eating onto in her dream. Mano Kudarabo Kutu, Muku Chandala Kodurubo Soto, Nano Kurebe Keturuba, Rabbi, up and out, Ruku Sun, I press my tummies, up and out, Ruku Sun, I press my tummies, I want you to press on yours. In the name of Jesus, oh no, I said, Oh, cut out now. In the name of Jesus, I said, This girl is a bitch and get out. Oh, mama, koto rabe kete daraba. Kasanda, oh my God, she shall let it out even in the toilet. My God, even in the rabbi. I said, Get out in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Even now, God Almighty, let your daughter get her breakthrough in the name of Jesus Christ. Of Nazareth, my God, in the name of Jesus Christ, you will eat no more in your dream. You will know how to fight. I say you will get the spirit of war, war in spirit around you. Rabo Kutusa Dadaba, war, woman of God, in the name of Jesus, fight. Don't let them feed you in your sleep. You don't need to put them for yourself in your sleep. Mighty God, I say begin to war in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. No more in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, my God. Even that feeling, that, that, that taste that you have in your mouth at times, my God, sometimes it's because of what you eat in your sleep. But in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, mighty God, I say total deliverance. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth for your daughter this morning, I say total freedom. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth this morning, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth this morning, God Almighty, let your daughter rejoice because she will overcome. Oh, God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, mighty God, you will eat no more sickness in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. They will not follow you in your dream because they know that they can't get you naturally. They are trying to steal your dream but in the name of jesus christ of nazareth you shall fight in your dream woman of god you in shall run in your, in your dream woman of god you shall refuse in your dream woman of god in the name of jesus christ of nazareth hey, oh, yeah. hey god hey, almighty hey, in the hey, name of jesus take authority even hey, when you're sleeping Take authority, even when you're sleeping. My God, my God, my God. I remember the other day, somebody told me that I was going to go on another attack. And I said, huh, Davis, you're a liar. You're a liar. You're a liar. I love to sleep, especially in the four, um, um, three, four o'clock, because sometimes I go to bed two, one o'clock. And I, I felt that I felt like something holding on to me that night, holding on to my feet. And I started to kick and I feel the burning. I could feel it was in my dream. I was getting the attack, you know, but I could feel it on the outside. And while I was here sleeping, I had to, my husband was in the um, in the living room and I had to call on him. I think he was there preparing his message or something, but I, I had to call him and I said, no, no, no. And I had to call and he came in the room and both of us started to pray. It was like something burning. Even in your dream, you shall have authority in the name of Jesus. And I started to yes. kick. And I started to 
pick and I started to pick. And when I woke up, mighty God, I felt good. I felt I could walk a marathon because there was no more pain in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm not saying, listen, people of God, you can stay there if you want. I'm a devil feed on you. Oh, I, I, God. I feed you in your sleep. I take away your liver. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, I touch your body in the sleep. That's how the enemy attacked the Christian, oh, especially the nice and nice Christians. That's how we attack <laughs> us in our sleep. In the name of Jesus. But in the name of Jesus, you will learn how to fight in your dream. You will learn how to fight in your dream. Your brain, oh God Almighty, for those who are studying sometimes, the enemy knows them can't touch you while you're studying. But when you fall asleep, you want to wipe out everything out of your mind. And when you study, you can't remember. And you're going to an exam room confused. But the devil is a liar. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, he will take no more in the name of hallelujah Jesus. i seek the very plan of the enemy you will come out to some good your body belongs to you in the name of jesus you are a warrior in the name of jesus and you will learn how to fight in this season in the name you think we just are going to read about danny or uh, david and I'll learn how to fight we better know how to come fight on now. in the name of hallelujah in the name of jesus take out your sword woman in the name of jesus christ of Nazareth, and men and Fight for your family and yourself. You think nobody is going. You think nobody will come and you're going to be here. They'll be sorry for them. Oh God Almighty, let God fight it for me. No, I you have to fight. He tell us that you ain't give you authority. I you have dominion down here, so I you have hands to war. Put he said, I will teach your hands to war. You better say it like David, man. Teach me how to war. Teach my hands how to war. Hallelujah. Teach me how to fight God Almighty. Teach me. Because sometimes when you're going to wake up and, and you're going to search for the prayer line, you can't even find link to log on. You can't even find Sister Lit number, Sister Lisa's number, Sister Anne Marie number. You better learn how to fight. You bad and bad internet fight. connection. Oh God, bad and, oh, God Almighty. Internet connection. You can't hear what the people are going to say. And you say, boy, I'm going put in my records. I'm never hear my name. But your name call. But it was bad connection. But you better know how to fight. I'm not going to say you're not going to call on persons to help you. But sometimes you better learn how to fight. You Amen. better know how to fight for yourself, people of God. Hallelujah. You better know how to push Glory in the name of Jesus. Jesus. The woman with the issue of blood, she was there trying to, 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 to stick everybody else. But not until, until she come to her right mind. She came and she said, Jesus was passing. Oh, she knows she had Jesus because she must pass the before. Lady Lisa I must pass the before. He must yes. have passed that way before. That's the reason why the woman yes. knows that Jesus. She must have heard about it before, but yes. she has not tried it. But this day, she make up her mind. Said, "No man, me not gonna make him miss me today." Listen, man, Hallelujah. people, God, don't let him miss you today. Do not let him miss you today. God is here. Healing is here. Oh, God, I'm like, sometimes it's a faith that we need to have as small as a mustard seed. You don't need the faith like, uh, like Sister Lisa. You just need your own faith. Yeah, yeah one one. Yet. Oh, drink your one water. Drink your one water. Oh, my God. Pour your one river and put your head down and drink that water. Hallelujah. Yes. And believe your God for your healing. I believe the Lord for you, but sometimes you need to believe the Lord too. You need Hallelujah. to believe the Lord too. When we pray, when person pray from five o'clock until now, you believe God now answer? But sometime, man, oh God, the answer is just right there over your head. But you're not even lift your hands up and take it down. My God Almighty, you better put your hands up sometimes and wave it down and My fight God. in the realm. My God, if some of us who close their eyes and still walk more over with head and see all the blessing over there, over with head. My God Almighty, we'd have put it down a long time. But oh God Almighty, we are depending on somebody else's prayers. Hallelujah. My God, I'm oh, no, 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 no. Even in the middle of the night, you can still say, God, I thank you. Oh, God Almighty. Oh, God, you come on the prayer line. Oh, God Almighty. I, I, I'm not going to even apologize. Sometimes I think that you are selfish. I, I believe that you are very mean to God. You're, you're very mean. You're not kind to God. Because that if I thank you, you want to say to him, why are we so mean? No. Why, are we, why are we so ungrateful? My God Almighty. You can say, thank no. you, God. I thank you for your great miracles. Even when you don't get it, but you believe the Lord for somebody else. When you hear people testifying of his goodness, you say, God, I thank you for Lady Christine. She did an oper uh, 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 operation this morning, what she did this morning. Uh, uh, but she came out alive. We have to say thank you, God. 
Thank you, God, for keeping her alive. Thank you, God, for keeping her in perfect peace. You know, easy, but God is well able. God is well able. I believe that the Lord is going to do a shifting on faith work this year. This Imagine season, God. I believe the Lord is going to do a shifting on faith work this season. And you have to you have to tap into it, people of God. You can't be lazy to, for it. You can't be lazy or tired or sad or mm -hmm. depressed. You have to come out of that. The enemy is a liar. He comes to steal and to destroy. But listen, man, we have to step out of that. In the name of Jesus Christ, and that's, we need to come out of that and tell God, God, are you after? Are you after rewrote my life? Are you? Are you? Mm -hmm. I place my life in your hands. You have to take everything and erase where you need to erase and put in what you need to put in. Hallelujah! God can faith workers. God can. God can. Yeah. You can pray too. Hallelujah! You can praise God too. Hallelujah! The Lord can come through for you. Hallelujah, your problem is not bigger than my God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hi, um, um, you were talking about dreams and um, somebody pinning you. Um, my husband said yesterday in the morning, because normally he goes to bed in the morning. He said while he was sleeping, he said he could feel somebody holding him down on the couch. And he said he was pinned down. But for the past about three or four days now, I've been praying for him. And I remember two days ago, I asked him, um, I asked him about his neighbor. I said, Are you, is your neighbor a Christian? And he said, I would have to ask, ask him. He cannot speak for him. So I said, are you a Christian, Michael? And he paused. Uh, he said, no. So I said, why, why aren't you a Christian? He said, there are so many things there. So I said, what is there? I said, what's holding you back? What's pulling you back? I said, you need to break all bondages and all breakthroughs. So I was there and I said, all right, I'm going to pray for you to come out of your situation, to come out of your condition, because you need to cross over. You cannot be alive up until this very moment. And you're still not a Christian. You're still not trying, God. I said, if you can try being a sinner, why not try, God? And he was there and he said, um, unfortunately, he had to leave. I said, anyways, I'm still not going to break. I'm going to pray for you to cross over because you need to become a Christian. I said, we don't know when we are going to die. So even though you're going to hang up on the phone, I'm going to pray for you. And whenever you call back, you are going to pray for yourself also. And we did that. And the following night, I think it was the second night, I prayed for him. And yesterday morning i prayed for him and he was saying during the evening he was saying if i if he had told me something and i said no he said this yesterday morning when he woke up before he woke up he feels somebody holding him down and i said did you plead the blood of jesus christ and that spirit that is trying to hold you down and pull you back and not allowing you to cross over so i'm just asking you to pray my strength and also pray for my husband because whatever is holding him back or trying not to allow him to get break free he needs to break free whatever is trying to whatever is trying to plant him down not allowing him to cross over and to stay over and not have one foot in and one foot one foot out i told him i said this is not a dolly game business if you have both feet in you have both feet in yes we have um times where we break down but god do forgive so I, i'm telling him i said if you have both foot in i am always here for you so just pray for him for me please amen amen Glory to god thank you everyone for good morning Thank God for the prayer, for the encouragement. Um, Mr. Lex, you have to move out this morning. Let's greet each other. Remember that we are on a day of prayer. For the young people, Mr. Lex, and the other music. Blessings, everyone. 
I'm not sure if um Lady um Lisa, so for persons who are able to. I don't know what, what we're going to do, at least just Lisa, but I will be joining them later on to close off at one o'clock. Um, I will join them at 12 o'clock to close off the fasting at one by one with them later on. So for persons who are online, we, um, the fasting will stop at 1 p.m. So we're just going to break until to 12, but you can still go ahead and pray. And um, maybe I will log in here and then I'll use my phone to connect so for persons who are able, um you know interested to come on for that one hour at 12 o'clock so we'll just come on at 12 and and to one o'clock so we'll break at one o'clock so 12 o'clock i will log on to faith walk then i'll have my phone hopefully in jesus name and then i'll connect here and then you will hear what is happening on that side so that we that walk prior, yeah. that right. would be good right so i will just connect um that we hear all right so we'll close there at um so we're just gonna go on a break so just if the lord um will have you to go ahead and pray more or read the word or play gospel music or do whatever you can go ahead and do so but don't fill up yourself with too much work tomorrow today you can do it tomorrow all right so that should be one o'clock my time sister let's no it's 12 it's gonna be eleven o'clock your time, right? Because right. you're you're in the United States, right? Yes. It's eleven o'clock your time. Okay. Right. Right. You're one right. hour ahead of us, right? Yes. Uh huh. But it's no sorry, but it's no eleven o'clock. It's five What's minutes it? to eleven. Or am I getting it wrong? It's five minutes to ten. It's gonna be it's gonna be one o'clock in the United States. That's what I'm saying. Okay. One o'clock in, oh, in the United okay. States. Oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, yes. Sorry. Before okay. us. They are before us. Yes. Sorry. Before That's us. true. That's true. Sorry. Yes. 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 So it's one o'clock. Brother Trevor, good to hear you, man. You see how the man them just come up. Yes. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. But when she told me 11, I said 11. I was the only oh, yeah, one. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah one right so for persons who are in the u.s um please join back at one o'clock so we'll be on from two from one to two o'clock and then oh my goodness sister sharon and for persons who are here from england can you just tell me the time oh wait sister sharon is not in jamaica is 12 p.m and england what time would that would be uh, that, 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 that. i don't want to miss yeah. it out i think there's six o'clock Pastor Terry will always come on, so I, I don't know what time. I think there's six o'clock though. Okay, so we'll be there for that. So it's now it's now three it's now three fifty six over there. So yeah, all right. So at six o'clock for those who are in England, because I know some persons are listening in from over there and on the YouTube channel. So they will join in. So we'll meet back here at twelve p.m. Jamaica time, and then at one and at six um in the uk All right everyone so it's just a break for now and remember those who are praying in alice church i was gonna go there but some kids are here so i have to stay home and just pray so it's a good thing still because at least i can join you back online all right so we'll come back online at 12. all right so may the lord continue to rest upon you all and remember to pray 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 and if you can bring your prayer request your children's name later on and definitely i will um i don't know sister Ailey would have the prayer request um over there yes but yes we do you could just type it in the chat and we will take it from there all right, so just send it in the Faith Walk um, WhatsApp group, and Sister Ailey is in that group, so she will take it from there. So you'd have to work with two groups this week, um, Sister all right, Ailey. Right. All right, so we'll we'll do that. All right, love you all. Take care of yourself until we meet again at 12. God be with us all. Yes, Lady Joy, and we love you, and we continue to pray for Sister Bye. Judith and her family. Blessings to all those who are on um, YC. I'm going to close that platform now. And um, we continue to pray for.